What's cracking, everybody, and welcome to a very special episode 78 of the Good Cracking Podcast. I'm one of your hosts, Arnell Pearson, alongside my good old crimson chin, Garrett Eakin. How you doing, baby? I'm fucking sleepy, my guy. <laughs> oh, yo, fucking same, my dude, <laughs> because we just ran through just about every fucking technical difficulty we could possibly run into in the past 30 <laughs> minutes. You know what I'm saying? Like, uh, good it was old, a good rough old... setup. It was a rough setup. Oh, uh, Garrick, my guy. Like, like, like I was telling you before we got started with the stream here, uh, this Wavelink update from last week has just been fucking me so hard for the past, like, seven days, dude. It's just been, like, one thing, doing. one thing after fucking another. Anyways, how was your week, my guy, since we had you last Tuesday? Dude, uh, pretty good. Just uh, prepping a lot. I like basically have just been I've spent like the last week and the weekend just prepping my house for family to arrive. As I uh, mentioned, Ooh, we are hosting right. Christmas this year. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Okay. So, okay. Yeah. So that's kind of what we've been doing. So I've been running around like a chicken with my head cut off, as <laughs> as uh, my wife and my in laws, and it's been fun. So uh, my wife's grandma lands tonight. Uh, they should be picking her up actually right about now. And then we have, um, I think, one of her aunts coming in and then her family coming in from uh, from Michigan. From Michigan? Oh, God. Yep. <laughs> that's that's a place to have family from, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> oh, my God. Oh, my God. And those bastards, are, they're still sending fucking Discord messages. God damn it, dude. I've told them a million times, shut the fuck up when we're doing shows. Shut the fuck up when we're, we're doing shows. We're clearly doing a show. You know shut up. Like, uh, yeah. I, ha I have to keep streamer mode on. Otherwise, I don't hear when things are going because I'm disabled, Xander, in the chat. I'm looking at you, you son of a bitch. <laughs> you streamer mode after I just explained why I can't use streamer mode. You fucking animal. <laughs> God damn, dude. Tonight's a night. Today's a day. I, I didn't get home from work until about an hour ago. Uh, today's has been today's been stressful. But what's not stressful is this beautiful Reflect Design Co. coffee cup that was sent to us by Zach Silver, the gentleman that made all of our new Good Kraken logo assets and things like that. Uh, so please, guys. Go support him because he is wonderful. He was wonderful to work with. If you need branding shit, uh, go go hit him up. Go hit him up because you you need you need some of his art in your fucking life. Uh, Morbid. So, do you have coffee in that mug? I actually have apple cider. Okay, I see you. Tis the season, mm, girl. Tis the season, baby. You know what I'm saying, let's go. That's what we do. Morbid in the chat. Did your truck break down again? No. So, my truck broke down. And today they gave me uh, actually the first truck that I started with working for these contractors, which is basically a U-Haul turned into a FedEx truck. Um, and I actually genuinely enjoyed driving that truck. So it wasn't that bad until I realized that the heater is broken. So I've spent all day, <laughs> all day. I being freezing <laughs> I'm just now finally starting to feel warm because of my beautiful, uh, apple cider inside of a beautiful reflect design <laughs> it's funny because he didn't even pay us to, like advertise us or anything actually we paid him we paid him it was actually the uh, yeah, it was, uh, yeah. <laughs> it was, we were the clientele oh it's great it's good stuff it's good stuff <laughs> dude I fucking hate today so goddamn much, but you guys don't hate today because today <laughs> we're talking about Spider-Man doing the fucking thing, Ubisoft doing the fucking worst, 2022 being fucking lit, and much, much more because this is the Good Kraken Podcast, your choice for all the nerdy video game and pop media news, reviews, and discussions that you want to hear live every Tuesday at 7 p.m. and Saturday at 12 p.m. right here at twitch.tv slash Good Kraken Show. If you're riding this wave, you can head on over to patreon.com slash good cracking show. I'm gonna put you up that in the chat. Let's go, let's go, baby. Man. Where you Beat me to it. can submit questions <laughs> and topics of the show, get exclusive post show content, and have early access to episodes before they go live on podcast and video services across the seven seas. Uh, give it to me, Garrick. 
Yar. Yar, baby, let's go. But if you've <laughs> emptied your pockets for the latest and great, greatest in entertainment, that is totally fine. You can watch us record the show live right here at twitch.tv slash show. And if you're watching this show live, you have a very important job. Please head on over to our Discord, which I'll go ahead and let you drop our Discord uh, command in our chat area. <laughs> you can head on over to our Discord. Uh, where in our Discord, you can find a little server uh, in there called Fact Check, where uh, if we fuck things up as we go along uh, with the show today, you guys can fact check us, drop it in there, and uh, at the end of the show, we will come in and correct ourselves with your information that you sent in um, over there. Uh, if you have Amazon Prime, you also have Twitch Prime, and we would love for you to give that to us to help keep us pushing content out for all of you listening and or watching at home but you can all support us by going to our youtube channel by clicking that beautiful bell and big red button or by subscribing to our podcast channel by searching good kraken with an exclamation mark and leaving a review there Reviewer. yeah we have some captain's orders my friend first off spotify has enabled the ability to rate podcasts please Go rate ours. Uh, they they finally added a five star rating system onto Spotify's podcast servicing, um, and uh, just like Apple Podcasts, you guys can go on there. Please give us some love. Dro drop us drop us a rating on there. Uh, the more ratings that we get, the more people that will be able to find us through SEO. That's a search engine optimization on Spotify's uh, platform, and uh, the more people that can find us, the more uh, more of our voices can get into your ears, and the more voices or ears that our voices go into, the more friends you guys can find uh, and hang out with to join the Squid Squad. It's gonna be a damn good time. Oh, God, I'm burping on stream again. Uh, Morbid says, bro, I saw someone in a UPS <laughs> uniform driving a straight up U-Haul truck today. Yeah, we, we do do that sometimes, Morbid. Like, unfortunately, like, trucks have on things happen. Hustle. So we have to, we have to like, at, you know, third party it sometimes in the event of an emergency. We got to, the, 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 the package has got to keep packaging. You know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? No, unfortunately not, Morbid. It's not, it's not a command yet, but it will be. It will be if you want it to. We can make that happen. Uh, also, <laughs> reminder, we're taking Friday and Saturday off for Christmas weekend. But we'll be back next Tuesday with even more shenanigans for all of you guys. It's going to be so much fun. Garrick, my friend, did you want to take our next segment today? Since Devin isn't here until fucking later. You know what I'm saying? Why uh, didn't you ask me that before we started uh, recording? I can, I, can, I, I can do it for you. I can do it for you if you want to read uh, read uh, the helm, like our, our one our one news thing. Today today's a really slow a news day. News thing too. Yeah, it is a slow news day. It's, it's end of the thing. year. It happens. Yeah, very 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 slow news day. So, do you want little waves or helm? Uh, I'll do the helm. Sick. Let's go. We have repeater oh, the dolphin. I think that's not working because I'm not on. I'm on the emergency one, so I have to hit it right here. Little waves. My friend, and I don't even think that recorded the sound again. God damn it, dude. God damn hi, it, man. Hi, I hi, fucking hi, hate it. Hi, hi. I fucking hate it here. I hate it so damn much. It's still happening. I hate everything. Fix it uh, in post. It is, it is just, I, I fucking hate it. I fucking hate it. First off, Spider Man No Way Home gets a record breaking 251 million domestic weekend box office debut. It also earned another $334.2 million internationally to claim a global total of $587.2 million, making it the third biggest domestic opening of all time, pandemic or otherwise, uh, and the third best global opening ever not adjusted for inflation. <sighs> now, here's the deal. Not There's actually, actually an update to this that I saw way early this morning. Uh, guys, Spider-Man No Way Home has officially actually hit 601 million in the first weekend making it now the second biggest domestic opening of all time that's crazy. right behind avengers endgame holy fucking shit dude this movie went off Garrick. <laughs> dude it, it went so hard so hard oh dude i need to go see it again i've, I've only want... seen it once still i, I, I need I... to go see it a second time real bad i watched it again I watched it again. It is just as amazing the second time. <laughs> My wife has seen it twice. 
Oh, dude. Oh, dude. Dude, 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 dude. You need to get your ass in there, my guy. You need to get your ass. I, I, feel, oh. I, I, think, I think I cried more this time than the first time, to be completely honest. With you, because it's just oh, like, dude. Oh, I bet. Oh, dude, the reminders. The reminders, man. This is, oh, what a fucking brilliant piece of goddamn cinema, guys. If you, if you guys in chat have not seen Spider-Man yet, what the fuck are you doing? You know what I'm saying? Finish this show with us. And then go watch fucking Spider-Man. You know what I mean? You know what I mean? Please. Tell the asses, Garrick. Tell the asses. Okay. <laughs> I was like, maybe not right now. Maybe not right now. Uh, next up, Final <laughs> Fantasy VII Remake. <laughs> On PC has uh, some major... Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> has some major problems. Uh, as reported by PC Gamer, Final Fantasy VII's re remakes, excuse me, uh, graphic settings list on PC is surprisingly bare and offers, quote, no variable frame rate option, no way to tweak anti-aliasing, toggle V-Sync, or control effects like motion blur, end quote. There's also no way to control resolution scaling to help balance image quality and performance. Devin's going to be real fucking bummed about that. <laughs> Dude, what a what a fucking sad what a sad move, man. Like who 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 dropped the ball on that? Um like everybody everybody knew what this meant. Like everybody wanted this. It's a, it's it is a little bit surprising, right? Because like this isn't the first PlayStation exclusive to be jumped to PC, right? Like the like we just saw oh. Horizon Zero Dawn get pushed to PC, and that doesn't have any uh, like weirdness like this because this is just odd. Honestly, this is just an odd yeah. decision to like or thing to let happen. Um, God, my eyes are so like tired today. <laughs> um, Dude, this, yeah, this this is a a really weird choice. That is a really weird choice. You know what I mean? Like I don't I don't know what the hell they were thinking, uh, saying that like these things are not worthy of the PC port of this fucking magnificent game. Uh, uh, morbid. The the fi Final Fantasy remake, uh, Final Fantasy seven remake is getting put onto PC. Is what we're talking about. Um, you know, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, anyways, yes, yeah, the PC, the C the PC port. Yeah. 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 Uh, what the fuck, man? Uh, <laughs> Devin's been waiting for this goddamn game to hit PC for a fucking Dude, minute. He's gonna the fuck out. Ooh, his heart's gonna be broken. He's gonna be broken. Uh, goddamn, goddamn. Uh, oh, he's saying yeah, but I didn't realize it had been out for two years on PS4 already. Yo, for sure, for sure. Goddamn, it, it has yeah, yeah. been two years, hasn't it? Whew. Whew. I well, I mean, believe. we all kind of blacked out last year. <laughs> Yeah, I mean, even a good <laughs> chunk of this. Here. <laughs> like, yeah, for real. Last year, time was most definitely a flat circle. Uh, and like we we last year didn't happen. It just did not happen. You know what I mean? Oh, yeah, uh, just say just yeah. and even this year fucking flew by. Anyways, Nintendo is expecting its servers to be overloaded over Christmas weekend. Uh, Nintendo's Japanese customer service account said in a tweet Quote, this weekend, access will be concentrated on the server of hashtag Nintendo uh, account, and it is expected that Nintendo account will not be created immediately. If you are planning to use a Nintendo Switch family for the first time, we recommend that you create it in advance, end quote. Uh, so yeah, for all of you guys getting brand new Nintendo Switches at home for Christmas, or you plan on giving it to someone, um, be wary. It might not happen. Make your day. Nintendo online accounts from your web browser on your phone or like home computer. Yes, it'll get be that, get that shit because the Nintendo Switch still was the most popular console overall in sales of 2021. So like you know it's gonna be popping this Christmas mm, too. Mm, goddamn, goddamn, you know what I'm saying? Goddamn. Um, I mean like it, it. It's honestly too like not even surprising right because it's like it's christmas it's fucking christmas like Dude, people yeah are, and we just covered this last week but the nintendo switch was the highest selling console over this past holiday time for black friday and yep. shit like that yeah Dude, it's a family <laughs> console it's the best family console available right now yeah i mean like of course they're gonna be fucking just drowning <laughs> fucking, i'm praying praying like, for those uh they the, know their market oh yeah oh yeah oh yeah <laughs> like, listen, we know eight of you in your household are going to be signing up for this. We know that. You know what I'm saying? We know that. Um, yes. Let's see. More, but did you guys see the OLED switch get modded or got modded? Oh, I did not, actually. I mean, I didn't realize the switches had the capability to get modded. I didn't even realize. I guess, uh, like, any technology can be modded, right? 
Is that, is that yeah. the part that I'm I didn't know that, no. I know. Uh, if you look up Final Fantasy uh, in Steam, it brings a Final Fantasy V at $75. What the fuck? <laughs> That's fair. That's fair. Good job. Good job. Yeah. That is a what the fuck part moment, Morbid. I'll tell you that. The Game Awards 2021 sets a record of 85 million live streams this represents an increase of two percent year over year compared to last year's event the year-end broadcast was streamed to 30 digital networks globally uh twitch accounted for 3.35 million viewers across channels and co-streams on youtube the show amassed more than 1.7 million seven five excuse me 1.75 million hours uh watch on its official stream up to 14 percent compared to 2020 uh, although the exact numbers weren't disclosed the game awards said viewership in china reached double digit growth uh finally audience voting for the show grew to 27 percent year over year reaching 23 point million god damn garrick god damn we love the game awards dude. don't we <laughs> i dude i do fucking love me the game awards God you damn, love me. The game God damn, this was man. a good one. I felt like the reveals were pretty good overall. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. It was it was like this was kind of a quiet year, but like we got I, all the titles that won awards deserved them. I'm really looking forward to next year. Oh, dude, next year, next year is going to be fun. Next year is going to be fun, dude, especially after looking over like <clears throat> all the games like like railed to come out next year, like out for our critic oh, thing bro. tonight. Uh Whoo, son, there's some games out there next year. Um, also, didn't realize how much of next year was very much indie focused. God damn, there's a lot of indie, indie games next year. Dude. Dude. Hoo Hallelujah, because Hoo I am all here for the indie titles. You know oh, I love me some indie Oh, oh there's, there's some fucking good ones, my guy. There's some fucking good sleepers out there. Uh, let's see. When are you going to stream Security Breach? Uh, I don't actually know what Security Breach is. Have you played that, Garrett? I think it's like I think it's like a new it's like a Fortnite esque version of mm. Among Us, I believe. Oh, oh, okay, okay. Five Nights at Freddy's Security Breach. Okay, okay. Oh okay. no, no, no! I was thinking of something else. I was thinking of another game. Oh, I think they got showcased. Okay, we'll have, we'll have to mistake. check that out more. But we'll have to check that out. Gone in the chat. What's happening? Dude, oh, we're, do, we're doing great, Gone. We're doing great. We're just kind of going over some news for you guys where we kind of get into the nitty gritty here. Uh, last up on Little Waves, the Batman is also an origin story for Zoe Kravitz Catwoman. Uh, during an interview with Empire Magazine, actress Zoe Kravitz revealed that the Batman will also serve as an origin story for her new take on Selena Kyle. Uh, quote, this is an origin story for Selena, she said. So it's the beginning of her figuring out who she is beyond just someone trying to survive. I think there's a lot of space to grow, and I think we are watching. Watching her become what I'm sure will be the femme fatale. End quote. Uh, does that does that hit the gas for you, Garrett? I'm curious to see how they're gonna do it, really, because like if they're if it's just gonna be like one of the subplots, I'm assuming. But I, I wonder how much of the story it's gonna take up, really. I'm curious because uh, Catwoman is kind of integral to the Batman franchise right um the character all is also popular enough to get standalone stuff if oh, very uh much so yeah. yeah if if the audience read well with her i i'm curious i'm curious to see where it goes oh yeah oh yeah dude they, they, i i have i have good feelings zoe kravitz is a hell of an actress uh she's a, she's a very very fucking good actress and honestly like I think I think we're in a position where we we deserve a a really solid Catwoman take. Did you like uh what's her face's Catwoman in a uh, Dark Knight series? Oh lord. Yeah, I forget her fucking name off somewhere. <laughs> I know, right? I guess that answers the question for you. <laughs> um, Hold on, her performance look. forgettable. <laughs> her name forgettable. Uh, not not Halle Berry, <laughs> not Halle Berry. Not, not Halle Berry. <laughs> that's not the, no, no, no. that's not the one. Gone has it. Anne Hathaway. That's who it was. That's who it was. Thank, Wait, thank it was you, really Anne Hathaway. It was Anne Hathaway. Oh, if Anne Hathaway, will Anne Hathaway. Hey, goddamn, you know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? Goddamn, dude. Uh, yeah, and and Anne Hathaway is a vampire. More, you are 100 percent correct. Uh, yeah, no, I I I liked I liked her Selena Kyle. I just think that the the writing around it could have probably been better. You know what I mean? They, they kind of, she was kind of an afterthought. It felt like, and I don't, I don't like when major characters come in from a source material or th just thrown in rather than really given the, just like, the by the way, 
Yeah, right. <laughs> you want Catwoman reviews are us making up for Halle Berry. Uh yeah. I mean like they they they, they could have put they could have put an actual dog shit in tinfoil and then uh and then put cat ears on it and it still would have been a better Catwoman than Halle Berry. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? God damn. God damn. That's no offense to Halle Berry because she's you know a wonderful actress, but god damn that movie was not good. That was a very not good movie. And Hathaway out here being like uh <laughs> I'll show you a suck. I'll do my best. <laughs> Sucky piss. God damn it, Mormon. God damn it. Anyways, guys, that is the end of little waves uh we're gonna go ahead and move into now the helm and i'm gonna hit this i'm gonna make a sound for you guys because the sound for these uh for these splash screens is apparently not fucking working i gotta work on it again tonight uh for the second fucking time so uh here's the hel- the sound of the helm oh god damn it i have to click that <laughs> i fucked fuck that up too <laughs> ding 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 squawk squawk <laughs> Listen, 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 that's the best. <laughs> I love this show. <laughs> okay, God gave me a lot of gifts, guys. Um, <laughs> uh, the <laughs> making <laughs> making Eagle noises effects. was not one of them. No, no, it really was not. It really was not. Uh, I petitioned to drop the actual sound clips for these ones. <laughs> <laughs> gone gave us a gig gave me a 10 out of 10 you know what i'm saying gave me a 10 out of 10 garrick go ahead uh, and hit them with our first story please uh, our first and only story well, first uh, and only story. you are a very, very slow news day yes uh, yeah uh but we are going to be talking about this evening ubisoft is grappling with a great exodus of talent and this is coming from rebecca valentine at ign At a time when many industries are suffering from waves of uh, resignations as employees seek better pay and working conditions in the midst of a global pandemic, Ubisoft in particular appears to be dealing with unnaturally high turnover. According to to a new report from Axios, Ubisoft has seen massive departures over the past 18 months, including both lower and mid-level employees as well as big names, uh, as well as big names. Uh, five of the top 25 credited people who worked on Far Cry 6 are gone, as well as 12 of the top 50 credited names from Assassin's Creed Valhalla. Two current employees said that these departures are uh, uh, said that these departures are slowing or stalling projects. The departures are especially significant at Ubisoft Canadian studio in Montreal and, uh, and Toronto, with LinkedIn showing the two studios are down at least uh, at least 60 total people in six months. Departing employees told Axios that in Montreal in particular, the... What have been doing? They're doing me dirty with like a four-syllable a four yeah. word. There, there, wait, wait, where, where, where are we? Uh, I wasn't paying attention. <laughs> I wasn't paying attention. I was letting you read. I was letting, I was letting you read. Uh, I see. Uh, let's see. Let's no, see. Uh, preponderance. I'm fairly certain it's preponderance. Okay. All right. Cool. Uh, cool a cool. preponderance of competing uh, offers at new studios was a major reason for uh, the high attrition. Though Ubisoft's offers of acro- offers of across the board pay increases served to slow the tide. Aside from competing opportunities, current and former employees cited low pay, frustration at cre- uh, creative direction, and unease at uh, Ubisoft's handling of its recent and ongoing hashtag me, uh, me too, uh, reckoning, which it's, which itself resulted in a number of public departures amid allegations of toxic behavior as reasons, uh, that Ubisoft was fertile ground for recruiters. As one former employee who was left this year said, uh, after trying to involve themselves in company cultural reform, they constantly emphasize moving on and looking forward while ignoring the complaints concerns and and cries of their employees. The company's reputation was too much to bear. It's legitimately embarrassing. Ubisoft responded to Axios reporting by, uh, to the Axios report by asserting that its attrition rate, which LinkedIn reports as 12%, was a few, per, uh, few percentage points above normal, but still within industry norms. For context, Activision, Activision Blizzard's rate per LinkedIn is 16%. EA's is 9%, Take-Two's is 8%, 
and Epic Games is 7%. The average games industry's industry's attrition rate as of January 2020 was 15.5%. Ubisoft also added that it hired 2,600 workers since April, uh, though Axios notes in uh, in past full years it had hired over 4,500 people. Who? Um, yikes! Dude, yikes! Honestly, Big this yikes. is kind of happening to a lot of. This is happening to a lot of some of the bigger developer publishers right now, uh, because their higher ups are really, really fucking up, and it's not that they're just now fucking up; it's that they've been fucking up for years, and they're finally getting caught, and people are starting to speak out about shit. That's, That's for what damn it sure, is, dude. Yeah, no, it's one hundred. And, and now that it's sure. made public, everyone's just like fucking. You know, I'm out of here. <laughs> I'm and fucking all these talented out. devs and publishers and like marketing designers and, you know, graphic designers and all the like everybody mid and lower level employees are just going to be like, well, let's just peace out and go make our own studio. And we've seen we saw a bunch of new studios open in like the last two years because yeah. people are like going to new places and creating their own workspaces because they're tired of working for these garbage AAA companies that just don't give a shit about them and are treating their, their employees like crap. Big Garbo, big Garbo. I mean, like, 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 let's, let's be real. Are they, are they fucking surprised? Like, like Ubisoft's getting been getting reamed by the games industry for the past, like three years since all the shit started, started to be publicized. And even more so the past couple of years, like year and a half that has been getting really like pummeled by by its workers by by other like big names in the games industry <clears throat> i love ubisoft's games i do but i also Dude, me too but it's it's hard to support when they're being a bunch of wieners on like the corporate end and you're just like i can't like you if you're gonna be like this <laughs> mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Well, that's that's what I was gonna say. Is like I I love Ubisoft's games, but I love the people that make them more. You know, it's like I I would much rather yeah. make sure that the employees of Ubisoft are being taken care of and are happy and are getting the pay that they deserve and and getting the the time off that they very much need to take care of themselves. You know, like that's the shit that's important because that's the shit that's gonna keep them pushing out and pumping out good games. You know, they're not going to have good games eventually if they're just over here treating their employees like shit. You know what I mean? So, yeah, fucking figure it out, Ubisoft. Like, this and like, none of this is fucking surprising. You better. This goddamn bit. And, I mean, great name with a great Exodus thing, by the way, because it's like, yeah, very much is. Very yeah, much. That was fucking, the goddamn, dude. Yeah. No, it's, it's just, it's upsetting. I mean, on the plus side of things, too, though, it's like. I mean, things like this, like like you mentioned, like people leave, they go to other places or they start their own development company and development team and they end up making even greater games. And we've seen that. We've seen that in the past couple of years since the pandemic started. Lots of indie studios getting started and just being mwah, fucking impeccable. You know what I mean? Like, like we, we get, we get, we get relationships broken from like bigger names and like they go some, like these employees go somewhere else to, you know, out of fucking self-respect, honestly. Uh, and we yeah. get things, we get things like, care of themselves. yeah, we get things like Kojima starting his own goddamn studio and giving us the fucking gift that was death stranding. And it's only going to get better from there. You know, like it's only going to get better from there. So yeah, fuck it, dude. Fuck it. Fuck it. I'm not going to say fuck Ubisoft because they're not on the Actablis level, uh, but fucking Ubisoft, man. Get it the fuck together, dude. <laughs> well, I mean, Actablis, dude, that's 16 percent. That shit speaks for itself. Oh, 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 oh yeah. Fucking goons, dude. Oh, oh, yeah. And it's only going down from there. Let's go. Oh, oh, shit. Surreal in the chat. What's up, Surreal? What's up, Surreal? I, uh, I, I added a uh, hose to our permitted words in chat because uh because surreal had because surreal said it and uh we are in fact hoes you know what i'm saying we hose for uh because, for because. entertainment you know what I'm saying? <laughs> <laughs> anyways guys big, big hose for content for l oh <laughs> i hate us so much i hate us so much <laughs> we're going to get started with hands on deck <laughs> and i think <laughs> <laughs> oh 
I forgot you were doing the sound effects. God damn it. Listen, I got to get it figured out. All right. <laughs> you get, oh, we, what we a have, rough we, night this we have to We have to innovate. <laughs> Listen, Garrick, I'm a problem solver. Captain Overcome. I am a problem solver. <laughs> I will take care of us, all right? I will take care of us. Uh, Devin's saying I'm coming, so Devin should probably be here in any minute. Thank fucking goodness. You came here just in time ooh, for, ooh. for hands on deck, which is a good time. Uh, so Dude, a fancy think... word for strippers, entertainment hose, and I'm here for that. I'm here for that. Oh, and that sounds, it sounds like just Devin's in here. Time. Just, just let's in time go. for hands on deck. Let's, yes, you oh, let's go. go. <laughs> let's, let's fucking do it, baby. Hey, Devin, hey, I'm Devin. Bearded fucking face. Devin, you've been yeah, missing hi, a guys. fucking good time, my guy. A <laughs> fucking Dude, good time. Let, let me, let me tell you guys. Mm. I had an insane day at work. Like, uh -huh. insane. Dude, yeah, just I saw a, that picture insane that 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 is one of two today just so you guys know <laughs> one of two <laughs> yeah, yeah um let's just say i made a lot of money today and i'm actually okay about it <laughs> yeah well let's 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 also I say too that, shipwreck show is gonna be lit this week when we all talk about how fucking uh, nightmarish the week uh, of christmas has been for work it's oh, gonna be lit. I have so many stories. Oh, this guy is gonna be a wild so weekend. many stories not not just from this job but like from <laughs> you know, mm, God damn, God damn. Let, let's just say or no, or no. I used to do what you do, yeah, and yeah. I have a wild holiday story around that. Yeah, let's that's just say, fair, that's fair. Know, just to be clear, you you did not do what I what I do. Okay, let's just be clear. No, you you're you, right. You weren't, you weren't, <laughs> you weren't a did, bulk I, driver. You weren't the fucking I wasn't bulk, a bulk driver. driver. Right? <laughs> that's right. I I did I I did bulk and residential on on my little. <laughs> FedEx truck. I promise right. you. I promise you've never done fourteen hundred packages in a day. I promise you. No, but I have done eleven. Okay, all right. I'll give you that. I'll give you that. I'll give you that. Yeah. Garrett. No, I'll. Was... <laughs> what have oh, you been playing or watching this week, my guy? Oh, y'all starting with me? Okay. Mm -hmm. uh, Let's do it. Well, That's since great. it is, uh, I have been. I've been watching uh, Christmas movies. I've been on a Christmas movie binge mm. uh, since. Like last weekend, basically. And I decided to check out that new holiday film on HBO Max called 8 Bit Christmas. Oh, how is that? Okay. How is uh, it? How is it? I was pleasantly surprised. It was a nice, it was a good little film. It was kind of a combination of like a couple of different like classics. And I kind of dug that about it. And just the fact that Neil Patrick Herrick, Harris was like in it and, uh, uh, that's not true, surreal at all. Actually, I have like, I've literally been eating like candy and fruit snacks. Like, this <laughs> oh whole damn! Time, I just, I just, I just, de I just defended you in chat too. <laughs> <laughs> like, I really like because technically, it. it's right here. Technically, be eating, I have brownies. Technically, <laughs> we're not supposed to fucking eat while we're doing the podcast, you fuckers. Secondly, <laughs> unless it's I shipwreck. Ate shipwreck before. is fine. Shipwreck I ate is fine. Before. <laughs> Excuse me, sir. What the, fuck, what the fuck was that food he just had then? Was that oh was that your last I, I said I said I said I have brownies. Oh is what I said. Yeah. Are they are they yeah. brownies or are they brownies? They're brownies. Oh, okay. All right, I got you. I got you. Okay, yeah. all right. I got, you. I got Anyways, them from Gar work. Garrett, continue on. I want to be rude. Conti continue on. Oh yeah. So uh no, I so I watched 8 bit Christmas. Uh it is basically the it's like an 80s esque version of a Christmas story. And like basically Neil Patrick Harris is telling his daughter like the Christmas tale of the shenanigans that involved his very getting his very first uh, Nintendo entertainment system. He's like, when I oh, met that your sounds mother. Rad. That sounds rad. And so, yeah, no, it was it was super fun. Um, of course, you know, I had like a cute little Christmas, like holiday Christmas family message at the end, which is Christmas movie. Mm -hmm. So I love that stuff. Uh, it was narrated by Neil Patrick Harris as well as like him, like uh, like playing, you know, the adult version of himself. And but it's, you know, he's like it. But it also has a lot of um, like Jingle All the Way vibes where like they're like there's just constant attempts to get like shenanigans to get this Nintendo. And <laughs> dude, it was it was just kind of a nice, fun combination of uh, the two. Look. 
like the the two sort of like movies and i i ended up liking it quite a lot i'm a sucker for christmas movies though you're you're speaking to my heart because jingle all the way <laughs> is my favorite christmas movie like my favorite second not, only not nightmare to... before christmas because that's a christmas movie no, it's both. Shut the fuck up. Um, <laughs> Touche. Gary, Touche. Gary, Gary agrees with me. That, that's not the topic right now. It's both. Yeah, it's both. It's both. Shut the fuck up. <laughs> We're done with that conversation. Uh, um, for sure. For sure. <laughs> no, Jingle All the Way is my favorite Christmas movie. And my second is The Night Before. Have you seen that? Have you seen that? Oh, yeah. With yeah. Joseph Gordon Levitt and Seth yeah. Rogen and oh, Anthony Mackie. Dude. Yeah, that's a fucking yeah. good movie. That is yeah, a fucking yeah. good movie. It's a, yeah. it's a bop. Dude, it's a bop. I watched, I watched a couple of classics. Uh, dude, that's not on any freaking streaming services. I tried to find it. I bought it because I liked it so much. Just rent, dude, just I might have rent to do it that. It's a great movie. Rent it on yeah. Amazon. Dude, no, just buy it, it because you know you're you know you're gonna you're gonna watch it. Watch every it every year. Yeah, every that's what year. I did. That that movie and Elf. Yeah, dude, Elf, Elf, yeah, Elf, yeah. Elf is a classic, dude. Yeah. Uh, HBO, but uh, been HBO, uh, uh, eight bit Christmas. It's yeah, I've been thinking. About it's not. It. It's not quite like it doesn't quite hit like that. You know that new modern classic level like Elf does. But mm. it's like it's definitely one of those ones you could totally slip it into your like Christmas rotation and vibe on it pretty hard. Yeah. OK. OK. Because like so like me and my family, every Christmas we watch at least two Christmas movies together, at least. And usually Elf is always one of those movies. Usually. Yeah. We my got tired. Is a National Lampoon's Christmas Vacation. Yeah. So I, I was going to say we went. It used to be a Christmas story in National Lampoon lampoon that that when yeah. i was a kid that was it for like 10 years in a row and then one year i was like yo this has got to stop <laughs> we need something else we gotta you mix know it up. yeah yeah and then and then you know jingle all the way it's you know classic to my heart and, you and know, night, it's starbo night, time nightmare before christmas yeah yeah because it's both anyways <laughs> um <laughs> <laughs> uh, gareth do you think do you think people should should give this a fair shake do you think, you think this is worth like going and oh dude on the... absolutely there's actually i i usually try to check to see what's like if there's any like new modern christmas comedies coming out uh that's like because i'm a huge like i have a huge christmas lover so i usually kind of dig around this is definitely the best like new christmas movie i've seen this season, if you're looking for like just some light family laughs, that's got like a good, funny and entertaining story about growing up in the 80s trying to get a Nintendo like. It's 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 definitely worth peeping. I, that's, I, that's I feel rad. like, yeah, I feel like we need to see that, especially like with the times being how hard it is to get a PS5 or a Series X or even a GPU for your computer. God, I feel like oh, that's dude, very God, relevant res- for a lot of resonates- people really hard on a couple there's a couple of scenes where i'm just like holy shit dude if that is not me <laughs> yeah yeah no for real i i i want to watch that i want to watch that yeah really check it out now. check it out okay okay big fucking facts big facts Devin, what have you been playing or watching this week my guy what's, Ooh, what's your one pick for the week i'm gonna give a tiny <laughs> pick and then a good pick you down with that sure like let's tiny. Do uh, I've watched Venom, Let There Be Carnage, and <laughs> goddamn, is that movie terrible? That movie is terrible. Don't what? watch it. I don't hate it. Hold on, hold on, I don't hold on. Hold on. Was your what was your favorite part? <laughs> Let there be carnage. Oh my god! No, that that whole movie was just like cheesy. Like like people try to say like MCU movies are cheesy. Like dog, have you watched Let There Be Carnage? Because that movie is, is just ultimate is another, cheese. Yeah, like yeah. like. Within the first like two minutes, <laughs> are you prepared to die? <laughs> ah! <laughs> I'm just like, what? No, here, here's the deal though. Here's the deal though. Like, <laughs> like, never like, mind. No, no, I can't defend no, no, no. it. I can't defend how, it. <laughs> how, how does does one Eddie Brock with the Venom symbiote grab Cletus Cassidy with Venom? and beat the fuck out of him and cletus somehow bites eddie while he's using venom a a a, a alien creature that can easily overpower any human that has no powers like how does that happen 
<laughs> yeah. Also, also to uh, the 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 big fat plot hole of the symbiotes are sensitive to sound, but for whatever reason, they don't have any reaction to each other's screams. But that's fine. That's fine. Yeah. That's yeah. fine. Uh, yeah. <laughs> that did bother like, me. Yeah. Like, that's fine. And, and like, dude, that's not a spoiler up, chase. chase. That's not a fucking spoiler. I Shut promise up, you. Chase. None of anything that we just said is a spoiler. And, and all I want to say is, um. <sighs> Why the fuck is there a weird rave scene that isn't like okay, now that, that, that now that's a spoiler. Let's not dig no. too deep. Oh yeah, no, but that scene no, this, is fucking is, awkward. <laughs> yeah, no, no, no. I, like, like honest opinion, like straight up, that movie is a straight up like three out of ten for oh, me. I don't know like, if I can say that. No, no, I, I did that. not like it. I did oh. not like it at all. Like that movie <laughs> is like. Like no after home. seeing No Way Home, I see why Feige was like Sony, you fucking up, and he took that sandwich for us. You know what I mean? Now he, he, he took that sandwich. I have a very important question for you. I have a very important question. Yes, for yes, you yes, here, yes, okay? yes, yes. I have a very important answer for you. Okay, Venom Two. All right, Let There Be yeah. Carnage. Uh huh. Or Army of the Dead. Army of the Dead. All right, let's go. <laughs> but that's let's like go, no baby. question. Like I, I will tell you that. Like straight up. Like no question. Like Army of the Dead. But that doesn't like, e like escape the fact that Army of the Dead is also not a good movie. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just letting you know that that somehow Sony let an inferior product that should have just been direct to TV on FX to the silver screen for some reason, and and and. and army of the dead went to straight to netflix because they were they were right they were like oh yeah this is a subpar movie that could be bad or could be good depending on how much meth someone smoked but um <laughs> <laughs> all right what's your what's your big one what's your big one <laughs> uh my big one is uh witcher season two fuck wow God damn oh, well dude, I haven't started this is gonna yet. be yeah. mine too so go ahead and go ahead and speak on it and i'll i'll, I'll um, run on can I can I just talk about how Netflix actually got every single casting amazing? Like yeah, basically. Like they they did everything perfect. Minus like some of the witchers and like their attitude and misogynistic ways. So I was like kind of I was like, yeah, you're kind of a piece well, of shit. Well, you know? it's 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 a reflection yeah. of the book. It's it's a reflection of the book. I know, I know, I know. And and I don't mean that on the show. I just mean that on the characters themselves. Sure. sure. You know what I mean? Because the show is fantastic. Like straight up 9 out of 10 to me you know especially in like a, a stark difference between season one and season two you know what i mean like season two is so much more really? cohesive and and much more reminiscent of the games than season one was like it's it's astounding especially if you played the witcher 3 i haven't beat the witcher 3 but i've played enough of the witcher 3 to see what they put into the show you know what I mean? Well, I mean, kind of, because because the show very much is more based on the books and the games are based after yeah. the books. And so it's like there's there's some story beats that are different. <clears throat> there's some story beats that are the same yep. because the chronological order of some things are a little bit wonky. And I didn't realize this until just the other day. I finally started actually rereading uh, some mm -hmm. of the books. And uh, God, there, there's there's some stuff the show does that's kind of chronologically weird. Um, but the entire book series is a prequel to the games, even which. Yeah, um, which which I like that a lot. Mm -hmm. um, the the uh, and like I said, the second season is reminiscent of the games, not a telling of sure, the games. Sure. That's all, that's what I want to yeah, okay. want to reiterate, you. especially in like the creatures and stuff like that. Like they took a lot of the monster designs from the game and implemented them into the show, which is just really rad to see that like come to come more to life. If that makes any sense. Very much so. Yeah, I know. Um, I'm, I'm definitely in agreement. I think that they, they basically said like, look that like, there's enough people that have played the games that like, we have to take some of what the games did and not just be reflective of the book itself. Because like in the books, uh, get Geralt is his, his accent because he's from Rivia is supposed to be like Scottish. Like he's he's yeah. he's not supposed to sound like the way exactly the way he does like in the game or the show, but because mm. people are familiar with the game version of Geralt more than they are mm. with the books, they basically took video game Geralt yeah. through threw it on Henry Cavill said go be hot 
on a on a video camera for for oh. 18 hours you know what which I'm saying? is <laughs> which is which is not hard for henry cavill to god do. damn it's real. not because he's looking like a <laughs> fucking snack this whole show i know like, god damn like so, like for real like henry cavill looks different I, I i thought about this he actually is a great character actor when he's really into it because yeah. the he there is you, you can hardly tell it's him as Geralt. You can mm-hmm. hardly tell. You know what I mean? And um it's really cool. You can see how much he loves the character too. You know, because because I it's it's a well-known fact that you know Henry Cavill is king of the nerds. King of the nerds. Anyways, um this is a sports bar. Um <laughs> <laughs> Oh my god. Um but uh yeah, it's it's there is so much more passion in this show than the first season. And like, there's a stark difference between both seasons to me. Like, don't get me wrong. I still like season one quite a bit, but season two is like much better, like much better. Like it, it is great. And, uh, Tris, what's up? <laughs> hey, I feel it, baby. I feel it. Yeah. But, you- uh, go like, ahead, uh, go ahead. the, the other thing I want to, um, get over it why am i blank vesemir holy crap that is the perfect casting that's like like spot on that vesemir yeah. is the perfect god vesemir, especially damn. old man vesemir <laughs> god damn um, dude god i, j- I just want to say that everybody <laughs> go watch this fucking show absolutely go watch it absolutely yeah. garrick have you watched it yet have you watched any of it yet uh yeah i finished the first season but i okay. haven't started the second season yet Okay. Uh Surreal says no in the chat. <laughs> so this fucking fuck I don't, was that was that to <laughs> us or was that to you saying we're all hoes? No, Surreal called us a hoe when she came in. So like she definitely thinks that we're all hoes. But uh I think, I think Surreal is definitely <laughs> saying no to watching The Witcher, but is also just kidding. So um dude, Devin. Devin, yeah. season yeah. two of The Witcher. God damn, my guy! I burnt through that shit in like two days. I was so, I was so just like, oh, I can't stop. I can't fucking stop because it's like you're, you're right. There is, there is a very big like, like difference in tone between this season, mm-hmm. the first season, and now that I'm going back and, and re like rereading the first couple of books and like finally getting into the actual like book books because the the first two books technically are each one is a collection of short stories of things that happen mm-hmm. to Geralt uh and that is essentially what the first season is and that's why the first season each episode uh is kind of feels like he's just on another like monster quest you know mm-hmm. what i mean where this one actually feels like a cohesive story episode by episode um and that's cuz the first season it kind of like reiterates the first two books that are just a collection of short stories of shit that Geralt does. Um, while the second season is uh, starting off with, I think it's called the blood of elves uh, is the first like novel of the Witcher series. Um, mm-hmm. And that actually starts to like pummel into like an actual storyline. And they kind of focus on that in the second season with a couple of, of exceptions. There's some things that, that what that were supposed to happen in season one that they that they do in this season instead um and they i mean like even though it's a little bit of a mix-up they're trying to like pay back some of the weird chronological stuff from the first season Mm -hmm. and it actually still worked it actually still worked very very Mm -hmm. very well um That casting, goddamn dude. Surreal is killing me, Jet. I'm dumb. I know, I was just reading that. <laughs> <laughs> I'm I'm dumb. I ask too many questions. I only watch hentai. <laughs> hey, there's nothing wrong with hentai, yo. It's like, you know, you do you. It's, it's not bad. It's listen, like, listen. Yeah. Tentacle enjoy porn. Enjoy what you enjoy. Tentacle porn, good crack. And one could argue that we're hentai. I mean, <laughs> borderline. Borderline. It's like it's basically, like, you know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? Uh, surreal. Like, I was just joking. Nah, you aren't. You aren't. The, surreal. The, the, like the only <laughs> amount of skin that's really shown is our faces and our hands. So it's like borderline. It's like it's like hentai edging. <laughs> hentai edging. Jokes on you guys. We all have tentacles underneath this bottom frame. It's just all tentacle down here. All tentacle. <laughs> Yeah. Um, yeah, true fact. I mean, maybe him, but not me, because you've definitely seen my legs in a uh, no, in a no. in an ad mat before, you no. know, like posing, posing like Black Widow. Nah, nah, that see, I had to superimpose the human legs onto you, <laughs> Devin. You don't, you, you oh, can, sure. yeah, Devin, you, 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 you can, you can just 
be, be real now. Uh, see, he's <laughs> Devin's got a fake leg on. He's got his fake leg on. It's wild. Hey, hey Garrett, wild. look what shoes I'm wearing. <laughs> dude, look at that fake ass leg. Look at that fake ass leg, dude. Anyways, yeah, guys at home, listeners, viewers, please go watch Witcher. Um, if you have not watched season one, please go fucking do that. If you have, you need to watch Witcher season two right away because it's, it's, it's so it's, good. It just it just does a good job of making the first season pay off, and and that that's always the best part of a of a you know series uh, when they're able mm-hmm. to pull that off season by season, dude. It, it, it's one of those things. It's like the second season proved that the show is going to get better. Oh, yeah, dude. That, oh, that's yeah. what it proved. It's going to get better season by season. And and that's all like from any TV series. That's all you could ask for. Literally. That's it. Yeah, that's it. Hundred so, percent. Yeah. Hundred percent. Yeah. Good. Um, good job, Netflix, for finally like doing something right. <laughs> yeah. Oh, yeah. Right. For sure. For sure. <laughs> Especially because uh, I, I, I am just, just the other day. Um, you know, watched you, Army of the Dead again and decided no, no, it's. I, I, never, I never, I never watched Army of the Dead two times. I promise you that. Uh, but <laughs> promise you that. I liked never it. Had. It was not good enough for that. It was not good enough for a second. I watched it. He finally admits it. <laughs> I didn't say it's a bad movie. I like the movie. It's a good movie. It's not that good, though. It's not that good. <laughs> watch him watch it a second time and just be like, oh, fuck, Devin, you were right. But he's like, I got to keep my persona on stream. <laughs> no, nah, fuck that. Fuck that. Dog. Fuck that. Um, uh, no, the uh, so you and I had just gotten watching the Roroni Kenshin movies. And I just found out that the writer, I think, or or like the uh, the, the original maker of Aroni Kenshin is a fucking pedo, dude. Fuck that guy. Dude, what the fuck? What? Yeah, dog, he's fucked up. He's hella fucked up. I'm never I'm never consuming any Roroni Kenshin content ever again, my dude. Like this, damn it. this this dude's gone on record to to like to say horrible things about horrible things and was caught with, with child pornography on his computer. It is wild. Dog, when I, when I saw some people talking about it, I was like, I got to dig into this. So I looked into it. I was like, holy shit, they're not fucking kidding. Fuck this guy. <laughs> Fuck this Hello, guy. Hello, darkness, my old friend. Yeah, God damn. Like, Roroni Kenshin. We're like, Roroni, get Why the fuck out of here. Why has this thing happened to me again? <laughs> How could this happen to me? I mean, my Hello, anyways, darkness, I mean, darkness, my old friend. <laughs> <laughs> I'm guys. upset. Yeah, I'm upset. right. God damn, dude. Hey, like, thanks for ruining I, like I, one I, of my favorite fucking animes. Yeah, my, I just felt my heart sink into my balls. Dude, I have to tell my brother now. Small. It's his favorite dog. Animal. I'm saying I, oh. I saw I saw some people oh. tweeting about it, right? And we and we know how Twitter can fucking get sometimes. You know what I'm saying? Sometimes we know how fucking people can get on. They're just it saying, gets a little wild. saying shit to say shit, right? I get it. I get it. So yeah. I looked into it. I saw two people saying it. And when it gets to two people saying the same thing, I was like, all right, there's something here, right? So I went and looked it up, and I was like, motherfucker, motherfucker. Damn. This guy, fuck this guy, dude! Like, like get the fuck <sighs> out of here! Upset. Dog. I know, I'm upset. man. I, that's, I know, man. Shit, I hate that shit, dude. I know. Veroni ca- kick him in the shin. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> <laughs> because, because, like, the characters that were created for that show were not at all reflective in that light. Mm, mm, well. There's, there's a couple. There, now that I know, there's a couple that I remember that I'm like, okay, yeah, maybe, maybe. Uh, this guy dude, I don't want to yeah. watch it now. Yeah, I know, I know, I know, I know. Uh, what the I fuck? Know. <laughs> I know, what the fuck, dude. man? What the fuck? <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> Why? Ah, oh, damn it! I know. Oh, I know. ahoy, I Vandal. Know. Vandal and Shao. What's oh, what happening, the fuck? baby? I know. What the <laughs> fuck, man? Ahoy, man. I know. But I damn. know. I know. God damn. Anyways, uh, guys, we're going to move now into. The gallows. <laughs> <laughs> all right, all right, all right, all right, all right. Can I can I go first tonight since I haven't been here? <laughs> go go first. Well, okay. So I I think well, it's, it's a to... snake draft, so he can start if he wants. It's a it's a snake draft. I need to make sure that it will let us pick who will go first. So I just want to make sure that is. Yes, good. you can. Um, you as you as the league host can manually adjust uh, who. Yeah, normally yeah, it just yeah, does yeah. it in the order we entered. The, All right. We joined. The league. OK, yeah, I just I just want to make sure that I like uh, 
um, if I have to set it up prior or if I can do it when the draft starts is my one thing. That's edit draft order. Okay, here we go. Um, oh, there we go. Perfect. All right. Yeah, we'll let Devin go first. And then it'll be Garrick, and then it'll be me, and then I'll snake back. Here we go. Set draft order. There we go. There we go. So we, is, that working? is that working? Okay, there we go. Anyways, guys, for the gallows tonight, we are getting set up for our very first annual Good Kraken Fantasy Game Critic Draft is what we're doing tonight. Now, for anyone who has no clue what the fuck I just said, okay, um... So this is essentially fantasy football, but for video games. And the concept is that each of us, each of us <laughs> with our tentacles. Oh, Esco, welcome. Oh, my Hello, Esco. Esco, what's happening, baby? What's happening? Um, no, it's okay. Esco. Oh, hydrate. Oh, hydrate. oh, hydrate. This is water. This is water. It's water, I promise. <sighs> but oh, it really my, is. My wonderful apple cider from my Reflect Design Co., uh, cup, which Devin, oh my I, god, Devin, I have I have one of these for you. I have one of these for you. Um, <gasps> okay. yeah, he's he sent okay. one for, for 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 you and I. Sorry, Garrick, I love you. What a what a what a baby. Oh, Xander <laughs> raiding with a party of five. Oh, Xander, baby. Can What's I get a raid dude? command in chat? Oh, Is yes, raid you command? can. Let's fucking get it. Milk let's raid. Get it, y'all. Raid, get y'all, it. y'all. Let's get the raids in chat, you know. Let's my baby. get it. Yeah, let's yeah, go. yeah. yeah. All right, guys. Uh, so with the flesh uh, vandal, <laughs> flesh. <laughs> oh my God. Anyways, guys. So this, like I said, this is fantasy football for video games, and the idea is that each of us are a publishing company, and we are picking the number of games that we want to represent our publishing company throughout the course of 2022. In order to get points, it is every point above 70 for a Metacritic score gives us a point every point below 70 takes a point away and so the concept is that throughout the course of the years we're checking metacritic scores and all these games are rolling out we win by guessing which games are going to have the best metacritic scores um as we kind of go through we will ba- loosely base some uh some talk on uh on how exactly things are going on uh at the end we have something that's called counter picks uh which we will go over later uh we have 15 games total that we will have throughout the course of next year we are picking 10 tonight the last five are games that each of us will be able to pick up throughout the course of next year as they are released we will be able to bid theoretical dollars on them and whoever gets the highest bid gets that game and then we continue on um god damn it esco <laughs> uh i don't get the point system but i hope devin loses <laughs> me too esco me too oh god damn right you know what i'm saying, you know what I'm saying? let's go let's go I, what did i do <laughs> <laughs> Here, i'll pay you back devin there you go there you go. <laughs> thanks, thanks. Because for me, it, it's it the is the chicken. big chicken. You're right. The you're original right, right. chicken sandwich. Yeah, it is. It very much is, my guy. You are you are 100 percent right. You are 100 percent right. Anyways, guys, I'm gonna move us over here to a browser window where oh wow, this actually set up perfectly. This set up perfectly. Look at that. The make chub. Okay. All right, Josh. Oh. Um, <laughs> <laughs> The make job. That's just God that's damn just, it, Josh. That made me. That made me gag a little in my mouth. <laughs> well, apparently, I just exist because you constantly spell my name wrong, Esco. <laughs> uh, Xander, I, how honestly, dare you? I think. I think. I think. Doing him dirty. I think. I think Esco knows that she's spelling your name wrong, but after we call oh, no, her out the she first does. time, she just owns she it now. She just owns it. That's now, like I, I that's love like that the her. equivalent to a dead name for me. Just because that's how much it's happened to me in my life. <laughs> Gentlemen, like, do you have your list of picks ready to go? Yes, I do. Uh, Perfect. Let's all right. Do it. We're, we're doing this in snake order, right? So we're doing you it know. in snake order. So you're starting. Right. It'll go Garrick and then it'll go me and it'll go me, Garrick, you and so on and so forth. Now, here's the thing. First, first dealio guys in chat, all of our listeners of yours at home. We cannot pick the same games. So we're doing a process of elimination as we go through the games that we're picking. If one of us picks the game, we have to delete that game off of the other two have to delete that game off of our list because we cannot pick those games. Um, Gentlemen, are you ready to go? Dude, I'm yes, yes, I'm nerding out hard on this, actually. Now, make sure you have the window open because that's where you're making your picks is in in, is in the actual website. So, yep, yep. Let's start 
drafting, gentlemen. Now, okay. in between, as we are picking, I want you guys to explain briefly why you picked that game. Uh, warning, okay. which is our drafting, can no longer add or remove player. Oh, psh, fuck it. You know what I'm saying? Let's go. Let's get it. You know what I'm saying? All right. Draft is currently in progress. Devin, you are first, my friend. I'm going to pick the wonderful indie darling that is to come, Somerville. Ah, oh, damn it. Damn it. That's the person <laughs> off my list. God damn. All right. All right. Because right. that game is probably going to be a 10 out of 10. Let's be real. Uh, like, that just right. looks amazing. You're right. You're right. You're right. Okay, cool. So, uh, to on your end, you should have to like type in the game uh it doesn't give me that option to type so maybe you, you it doesn't give you an option that's fucking weird yeah. uh, i'm like double clicking on the little bracket and it's not doing anything for me uh there should be like a join draft button somewhere on the left side i i i have c league options c eligibility c tag overrides my publisher details watch list set auto draft change publisher name hmm. Hmm. that's that's all the options i have sir can that's you it, huh? share the link to the draft via gilded um i mean it should just be yeah the... it will not let me edit here here i got you guys i got you guys um i didn't break it <laughs> Are they well, saying broken? Is I think one of the... broken? <laughs> okay, it says draft game now. Okay. Okay. All right. There you go. There you go. There you yeah, go. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, cool. Devin broke it, not surprised. <laughs> the fuck? <laughs> I'm not the one who has to <laughs> tonight. <laughs> Surreal, so defensive. God, you got you guys gotta stop cooking my boy Devin out here. All right. All I'm right. not doing anything. <laughs> All right, Devin, once you, once you input that, it should automatically move us to Garrick to do the same. Okay, okay, okay. All right, all right. Draft game. Yeah, I, I see where it says the draft okay. is in progress next year. There it is. There we go. Summer. Yep, yep, yep. All right, Garrick. Oh, yeah, we didn't we didn't tell any... We did, are we going to tell everybody what our, our publisher names are? We didn't oh, tell yeah. oh, yeah. So yeah. since I just started... Go ahead. Since I'm the five-star man, I have decided to open up Five Star Softworks. There we Thank go. You. There we go. Now, Garrick, <laughs> it's your turn. Go ahead and say the name of your studio and uh, <laughs> yeah. and the game uh, you're going to pick and why. Uh, so, yeah, my publisher uh, is my publisher name is Take the Cannoli Studios. Very nice. Very nice. <laughs> where where that did cannoli. that come from, sir? <laughs> He's Italian. Oh, dude, it's a it's a quote from the it's a it's half of a quote from The Godfather. Oh, oh take, okay. leave okay. the gun. Take the cannoli. Fucking Esco. Esco. I have a question. Studio. Esco. I have a question. Have I ever been mean to you without you being mean to me first? Well, it's not about being mean. It's just I'm not mean at all. You know what I mean? Like, at least anyone uh, that's not I you. Beg to differ. <laughs> I beg to differ. Except for sir. anyone that's you. <laughs> anyone that's not you, at least. You know what I mean? You know what I'm saying? I beg to differ. <laughs> That's fair. That's fair. I come in. I come in with, hey, everybody, give Ernell love and show him how much you appreciate him. And then he comes in. And he's like, hey, tell Devin he's a fucking retard. I never say that. First off, I never say the R word, and you should. That's neither. true. Secondly, That's true. secondly, uh, all, all I have said is that you don't like the division, which technically is true. Like, <laughs> no, it's not. How is it even true? It's not all true. Right, it's not true, guys. Garrick, what is your first game pick? My first game pick is going to be Elden Ring. God damn it. God damn it. I fucking knew you were going to. That was that. on my list. That yeah, was on my list. Yeah, yeah, that that, that That's one of those easy pickers, Dude, though. It's it's it is. It is kind of an easy picker, but it's the, one I feel really confident in because it's going to be it's next year's from software game. Y'all that's yeah, that yeah. choice alone. That was it was my second. It was the second. All I put mine in, in list of importance you know, on my yeah. list. Uh God damn, that game was definitely second on my fucking list, y'all. Um, now, Devin, also, let's backtrack a little bit. Why did you pick Somerville? Oh, it just it, it just looks like an indie darling. It just looks like one of those titles that's going to be captivating and really, like, hit people emotionally, honestly. Those sleeper and games, yeah. Exactly, exactly. And the set pieces of the game just look great. Um, the art style, too. It's got a very unique art style to it as well. Okay, sick. Sick. Garrett, go ahead and yeah. uh, get us finished. I'm really, 
I'm really loving that like all the stats you can see. Like the it's got like the yeah. release date, the percent published, percent counterpick, mm-hmm. the average draft position, yep. the hype factor, dude. I'm Let's nerding out hard it. over Let's this. It's even it. got projected yeah. points, dude. This is some nerdy shit. I, I love it. Okay, right. okay. So we're, we're we're sitting about the same with projected points just off of those two picks. I like that. I like that. I did notice, guys, just so you have to know, every time somebody picks something, make sure you refresh the page or else you will I not did, get the Yeah, I, saw, I noticed that for it to move along yep. the draft. Yep. Uh, so Ernell, what you got? What you got, Ernell? Ladies and gentlemen, I'm going to go ahead and also do an easy pick. I am going to do God of War Ragnarok. <laughs> But that's not coming out this year. Shut the fuck up. Yeah, it is. Yeah, it is. Yeah, it is. Well, hey, if it's no, unreleased, it's he can just drop it. Yeah. It's there you go. We are drafting. Uh, and what's your, what's your publisher name, y'all? Yeah, I have, ladies and gentlemen, I am Fat Poseidon Games. Let's go. Uh, yeah. I don't. Oh, I don't. I, I'm not surprised. Oh, are, are any of us are any of us you know what I mean? josh is just stuck Her- on on mick chubbs and mcdubs dude i know god damn <laughs> son god damn okay I, yeah I, you got something on your mind boy i should have uh <laughs> pushed this in oh yeah it's my turn now I, i'm we're snaking that's right okay uh mm-hmm. so god of war i'm gonna just explain this really quick uh it's obvious pick like anyone would want to pick god mm-hmm. of war in a situation like this like but it's not coming out <sighs> i'm li- listen i i we'll know see. I know he's willing to gamble on that. I am. I am willing to gamble on that. I also know that if it does come out this year, it's going to blow all y'all out of the fucking water. Let's go. Let's Dude, fucking go. dog. It's, it's probably up there, man. Oh, I'm saying I'm saying now. OK, so I got to take that off my list here because I already did that. Um, <clears throat> Now, it is snake. It is so, snake. So it is my pick again. Uh, So I am going to go ahead. I'm going to take this one because I know. That this one is on your guys' fucking list. All right. I am taking Starfield. You fucking you bitch. bitch. <laughs> <laughs> I thought it was going to go one, two, three. One, two, three. <laughs> you son of a bitch. <laughs> it's it's Snake, y'all. It's Snake. All right. So anyways, um, Starfield. Listen, th- we, this is a brand new IP. Like th- this could very yeah. much like not be a 90 it could just end up being a 70 and i could just be picking a game for that's not gonna happen <laughs> not with todd howard manning the helm that's what i was gonna say <laughs> obviously i'm picking this because yeah. i really can confidently say that's not gonna fucking happen uh, no 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 this game is gonna come out and everybody who decided to get a ps5 instead of a series x is gonna go what the fuck? <laughs> God damn. God damn. No, I was a cheater. No, I'm surreal. I'm not cheating. I'm just, I'm playing the game. Yeah, you know see, I'm, I'm not the mean one. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> and also, no counting. We going game. in raw. Okay. That's, that's, that's not how I fucking play shit. <laughs> hey, <laughs> hey yo, let's go raw dog or not. Uh, what's up? <laughs> hey, God damn, God damn. Yeah, 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 yeah. Garrick, take the Cannoli Studios. It is your second round pick. What's up? Uh, in the second round of the draft of the first annual Good Kraken Fantasy, mm-hmm, uh, mm-hmm. take the take the Cannoli Studios is going to be drafting a uh, Horizon Forbidden West. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Good, good, pick, good, good, pick, good, good, good pick, pick, good pick, good pick, good pick, good pick. Good pick. <laughs> yep. yep, 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 yep. Very much so. Uh, Garrick, why are you picking uh, Horizon Forbidden West? I mean, it is the sequel to one of the most celebrated uh, first party uh, PlayStation games. Yes, ah. absolutely. 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 Yeah. Mm-hmm. Good choice. Yep. Yep. Good choice. No, good, choice. Good, yeah. choice. That is a, a, good choice. Good choice. Good choice. That's a no-brainer. Uh, we're going to good go choice. ahead and move to Five Star Softworks uh, second round yes. pick. Yes. Uh, yes. Uh, Devin, the representative of Five Star Softworks, uh, what is yes. your second round pick? So my second round pick is going to be one um, Lego Star Wars The Skywalker Saga because those games are always in the upper 90s. And that is why I'm picking that game. Okay. Okay. Um, is that, is that, is that a, is that, it's is a that brand a, new game. It's, it's not a, brand, a port. It's, a it's, a, new, it's not a port. It's not a re-release. You know, it's a brand. Okay. Nope. No, it's, it, not it, a re- it's, a, it's a brand new. I haven't yep. looked into it. I haven't looked into it. So I wasn't yep. exactly sure. Okay. So Devin, why are you picking that one? Because the Lego games are fun. And they always get at least a nine out of 10. <laughs> always. Right. Like they yeah, always they score. Really it doesn't receive well. 
Mm-hmm. Yep. It, mm-hmm. it doesn't matter what IP it is. They always receive well, just like the movies, because guess what? They know what they're doing. <sighs> it's true. I like that. It is true. It is fucking yeah, true. Let, the hype factor is 45.3 for that one. Oh, of course. Of course, dog. Of course it is. Yep. All right. Yep. Lock it in, Devin. Lock it in, baby. I just locked it in. I just All locked right. it in. My guy. Okay. Five Star Softworks, third round pick. Devin, what Ooh. are you going for, my friend? So I'm analyzing my list now because mm. I know mm. that mm. you guys have, have have stolen a couple of my picks. Mm. Mm. So of course, of course. I'm yes. going to go with another soon-to-be indie darling. Oh, one that you freaked out about at this year's game awards and that is called replaced god damn it god <laughs> fucking damn it oh son of a bitch i wanted that one so bad dude oh man you Devin, lost it you Devin, had ex- it you ex- lost it explain to the people at home why are you picking replaced oh my god this 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 game looks like it lo- it looks like disco elysium and cyberpunk smashed together and it looks fantastic. And th- this this game was just breathtaking. It just has a really cool dystopian futuristic look to it. And it's very cyberpunky, but also like 32 bit at the same time, kind mm-hmm. of, but mm-hmm. with a really fluid motion. And it's just something I'm really, really like stoked to see come out this year. It's it's going to be great. I, I honestly I want this game to come out on Switch. So I can take it wherever the fuck I go, dude. This is that that kind of game. Home for that game. Game's gonna be so good, dude. I'm so fucking excited for that game. Uh, Garrick, before before we get to your third round pick here, Chad is wanting to know. um, uh, They 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 think uh, you're you're a Weasley. Can you confirm or deny? Uh, I can neither confirm nor deny whether I am. He's right. not. Ooh. Okay. He's not. <laughs> well, I mean, like, there's an argument to be made, you know what I'm saying? But he cannot, he cannot tell us. He no, cannot look, tell I can, us. I can smell a muggle from anywhere, okay? He's not. Are you, are you, try, are you trying to say that? Anyways. Garrick, take the Cannoli Studios. <laughs> what is your third round pick? Oh, see, this is where, this is where I got to start. I got to start thinking a little bit because there's 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 i feel like there's going to be some indie sleepers this coming year that are going to be worth putting on lists Mm. Mm. um i got the two most important ones so far (laughs) i think for my third draft pick i am going to be choosing stray god damn it you guys are taking all the good (laughs) indies i wanted God damn it, dude! Yeah, straight, straight. Oh, that's, like, that's a good pick. Na- that's a good. Pick. That's a fucking good looking game, my dude. Garrick, why are you picking Stray? Um, dude, it, it's super unique concept. Uh, Kenna received really, really well this year. Um, won some awards as a debut indie. I feel like Stray is gonna hit kind of the same market, same niche. Um, also, it is literally a third person action adventure game where you get to play as a cat my dude mm. in a dystopian world in a dystopian abandoned city survived only by robots like doesn't that pique your interest just a, just a little bit just a little bit that's fair that's fair I'm, go ahead and lock uh, it uh, in just here. to reiterate just to reiterate i'm too cool for school i didn't go to hogwarts okay i did it myself oh you went to uh what's 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 the the russian one garrick do you remember the uh, the russian school that what's his face is from in, in oh Harry um I am actually spacing it. Even yeah, me I too. It's been a while. I know, I know there's... It, look, there's Nikolai Bo- got hit on the head too hard. I know, I know that there's Bo, Bo Baton. <laughs> I know Bo Baton is the, the all-girls like ballerina fucking school, basically. That's where um, I'm from. Yeah, that's where perfect. I went. All right, you're you're in here. You're, you're from Bo Baton. Uh, Chase gave us the make rib. Let's go, Herm-train. baby. Herm-train. Let's go. Uh, Cyril says homeschooled. <laughs> Homeschooled. homeschooled. Yeah, I am. I'm homeschooled. <laughs> <laughs> Do we have a Harry Potter channel? We would, Esco, but we don't support turfs. Um, yeah, guys, yeah, fuck turfs. Yeah, fuck as as world. one Ocean Shrine said during the uh, trailer at Spider Man No Way Home. Mm, yeah, yeah, fuck turfs. Yep. Uh, yep. Everyone see their house. I got Gryffindor, and I did that on the official the official Pottermore website. 
Um, I did get. Grubby um, Grubby. I am a Slytherin, also done on the official Potter that is website. Not in the least bit surprising. You are so Slytherin. It's not even funny. Yeah. It's not even it funny. Is Slytherin. <laughs> <little>. <laughs> Here, here's the de- here's the deal, though, Gear. What, what was your what was your uh, 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 your your little like animal? My Patronus. Your Patronus. Fuck, yeah, yeah. Dude, I don't want to talk about. I don't want to talk about mine It's either. a white. I'll 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 go the my, okay. my Patronus charm was a white mare. <laughs> okay, that's still kind of fucking cool though. That's still kind of fucking cool though. I got the dog with the little long floppy ears. The like the short stubby <laughs> dog with the floppy ears. I can't remember the Handle. name of it. But that Handle, was your your controversial take is very valid because fuck turfs. Because fuck yeah. turfs, yeah. That's yeah, valid. Yeah. Sure valid, yeah, yeah. Um but yeah, no, Devin Devin's definitely Hufflepuff. He's definitely Hufflepuff. No, nah, man, not nah, fam, not nah, fam. If mm. if anything, if anything, I'm just dead. <laughs> what the <laughs> fuck? <laughs> My third round pick, everybody. I am going to go ahead and do it. I'm gonna just fucking do it. I'm just gonna go out here and I'm just gonna fucking do it, guys. I am going to go ahead and take Dying Light Two. I knew you would. Mm -hmm. Fuck, dude, that was literally my next choice. I'm so sorry. Can I be honest? I feel like that's going to be a 7 out of 10 ass game. Uh, I can see getting like an 8. I can see getting an 8. That's 10 Uh, that's 10 points for me. I think it's going to... I think it's going to squeak in an eight. Uh, it's it's long development process makes me more hopeful rather than uh, than suspicious at this point. Same and 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 not long development process in the way that they're like trying to egg it on, egg it on. Hi, no, honey. they've been super open about their delays and everything going on. They're they've been very communicative. You guys want to see my kiddo? Hi, baby. Oh, hi, hi baby. They say hi. 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 Do you want to hear them? <laughs> Yeah, here you go. Hi there. Hi. Hi. Merry Christmas. You okay? Yeah. Yeah. What's wrong? I guess I'm fine because it's my mom. Oh, okay. It's okay. I love you. Love you. I have your iPad out in the living room for you, okay? Okay. Go have fun. Be good. Anyways, um, okay. Uh,. Oh, she's she's sweet. Yeah, I know. I'm so lucky to have such a good daughter. I really, really am. Um, uh, I, uh, uh, let's see. Since he's dead in here, so... <laughs> Devin's Robert Pattinson confirmed now, so he's Batman. Yep, yep, hot take. Yep. I love that. I love that. Oh, okay, all right. I'm a vampire and I'm Batman. What's up? Oh. <laughs> <laughs> say it, say it, <laughs> vampire. Anyways, um, so Martha. dying light, dying light two just kind of makes sense to me. I, I have a, I have a gut feeling that it's gonna score well, just simply off the, off the the diehard fan base, no pun intended, the diehard fan base for Dying Light. There's a lot of people that are waiting for this game, and I think that's going to give people some perspective on the game. So. I am the people waiting for this game. <laughs> Fucking surreal. She's cute. Must have gotten it from her mom. God damn it. Damn. <laughs> God damn it. Suck it, it. They come in here. They're just cucking all of us. None of us are safe. None of us are fucking Ew. safe. Anyways. um, All right. So I got to take Dying Light 2 off my list here. Gentlemen, we are moving into fourth round now. Fat Poseidon Games. Fat Poseidon Games, guys, is going to go ahead and pick one. Oh, sorry. Sorry, sorry. Sorry about I that. Did, I did it wrong. We're, we're, we're getting dinner taken care of very late. It's, oh, no, it's, it's okay. been it's a okay. very busy day. Well, I mean, uh, it sounds like you've had a day. Like, ladies yeah. and gentlemen, uh, one Fat Poseidon uh, uh, Games is going to go ahead and pick Ghostwire Tokyo Fuck! for our fourth round. Fuck! Pick. Yep. Fuck! Yep. Ah, that was my yep. next one. Yeah. Oh, God yep. damn it. Let's go. Let's go. I just, uh, it, I just want to say it's been a weird turn of events. It's like you guys have picked all the AAA games, and I'm actually picking all the indies. Well, I'm probably gonna end up moving to to indies here pretty soon. So don't 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 be wary. Don't be wary. <laughs> um, uh, not not if Devin picks all of them. Uh, <laughs> yeah, I mean, like this this game, like, listen, we've seen very li- little from this fucking game. I think this is going to be one of those sleeper hits that come out and people are like, holy shit, this is a really good horror game. And I, I think that's going to work well in its fucking favor. But uh, dude, I think it's going to end up being such a good action horror. Oh, dude, so fun. Like to the to the levels of Biohazard, right? Like RE Biohazard, like it it, it has potential yeah. to hit up there. Um, let's see. We need a compilation of you guys saying fuck. That was so funny. <laughs> <laughs> we do have good fucks, don't we, guys? Don't we? 
We do. We do. We do. We do. <laughs> really, truly, really, truly. <laughs> yes, take it, take yeah. it a little bit. Uh, let's see. <laughs> Uh, certainly not from Walmart or Aquaman. Yeah, no, she didn't. She didn't get it from Walmart or Aquaman. My daughter's not cute because of me. I promise you. Um, take the Cannoli Studios. It is now your fourth round pick. Go ahead. What are we? What are we getting? Yeah. All righty. Uh, fourth round pick. Think. Take the Cannoli Studios is gonna go with Sifu. Damn it! Damn it! Fuck. <laughs> You're taking all the indie. You guys are taking all the indie games. I was gonna say for the second half. God damn! Because we know we know they're gonna be reviewed. Well. God dude, damn, dude! Sounds like real. seafood's gonna be such a bop, dude. Um, it is. God, so I it really is a hyper stylized martial arts roguelike. Like, oh dude, it's gonna be fresh. I'm surprised that nobody has said this one yet because Five Star Softworks is going after one. Tunic. I'm scared now. Damn it! That was my no! next one. God oh! fuck! God uh, fucking damn it! Dude. Damn it! Oh, oh, just as good as Death's Door, if not better. Because damn, of, dude, uh, for real, for real. Uh, um, so that, so I, I'm not done. Just so you guys know. Sure, sure, sure. I'm also going to go with Stalker to Heart of Chernobyl. Yeah, yeah, I kind of thought you would. I kind of thought, you I kinda thought you'd go after all. Yeah, take that one off my list. Um, now, real quick, let's backtrack here. Garrick, yeah. why did you pick Sifu? Well, dude, it's like it, like I said, it's it's a hyper stylized uh, martial arts age based um, roguelite. And the concept is interesting. I really like that basically every time you die, your character ages and like, you're basically set on revenge and uh, the combat looks really snappy and clean. The animations look really tight. Uh, martial arts, like fighting games are always kind of a, like a success just across the board anyways. But this one, uh, I think this one's like, it's, it's going to be different enough that we're going to see some, some good stuff out of it. This one's going to fuck. It also has the, the cool new mechanic where every time you die, your character gets older. Um, and so you yeah. have, you have up until they, they become age 70, which is the last time you can die before they permanently pass away. And you have to start the game over again. So there, that's a really, really cool mechanic they're introducing to games. Um, I'm ex super excited to see it. Devin, yeah. why did you <laughs> pick tunic? Oh, because it's an, another indie darling. It is very reminiscent of Death's Door, which was a great game, especially with the art style. Should've and also award, the man. class should have gotten a word. Did it get? Snubbed? I know yes. it got snubbed. It got snubbed. It got snubbed just like uh, Psychonauts and Ratchet and Clank. And, mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. um, but yeah, it just looks like a great game. It, it's very reminiscent of old uh, Zelda titles. So it has that nostalgic feel at the mm -hmm. very same time. Mm -hmm. Okay. So, okay. Okay. Yeah. All, yeah. Right. Uh, All right. Uh, and Devin, why did you pick Stalker 2? Oh, dude, that game looks so beautiful. I'm a super big fan of uh, dystopian post-apocalyptic style games, you know, i.e. Fallout or anything else. Sure. Um, that game uses Unreal Engine 5, I'm pretty sure. And it just looks insane. It just looks like an experience. Um, and I'm really I'm really stoked to play a game like that. It, it looks like what uh, and don't take this in a negative way because Metro Exodus was really good. It looks like what Metro Exodus was going for. 100% it does. 100%. Yeah. It, it, it looks like what Metro has been trying to do for the past two Metro games. Like to yeah. Be and, and, yeah. and I just want to reiterate, the Metro games are not bad by any means. But I have, I have a very good feeling that Stalker 2 is going to be up there when it comes to Game of the Year talks. <clears throat> sure. Absolutely. Sure. Sure. Take the Cannoli Studios. What is your fifth round pick? My fifth round pick is going to be Salt and Sacrifice. Oh, that was a game okay. I didn't even put on my list. Okay, all right. Garrick, one representative of Take the Cannoli Studios, why are you picking Salt and Sacrifice? Um, I don't know if you guys ever had the opportunity to play Salt and Sanctuary. It was a very small two-man development group that made a hand-drawn, incredibly difficult 
really awesome side scrolling uh uh dark souls uh you know souls like game and whole dude this it, it it's probably it, it's like one of my favorite souls like games salt and salt and sanctuary oh, okay it, it okay. is it's it's so good so 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 very good you think it was you very think, well received you think the sequel can hold up oh a hundred percent uh just given the fact that the first game was a passion project and the studio didn't expand to make the sequel. It kept it small and kept it at home. Uh, uh, people are really going to be looking. They're they're really going to be looking to eat up this title. It's it's going to be it's going to be a cult, a cult, a cult classic. Okay, all right. Go ahead and lock that in, my friend. Uh, I asked why you picked Salt and Sand Sanctuary, and Surreal said because he's salty. Uh, <laughs> that's fair. That's fair. All right, guys. Fat Poseidon Games for round five. Oh man, there's some options here, right? There's some options here, dude. So, there is. There's oh, a. God. There's actually a really good slate for this next year. There is. There is a very. No, good it is. It's. It's so tough to choose between all of the triple A's and the indies because you know there's going to be a good amount of triple A's and indie titles next year. Yeah, and like, look, I'm not much of an indie game player. Like, I'm really not. But I've been paying attention now because I feel like this this last year was the year that I started getting into indies. You know what I mean? Like a lot. Oh, dude. Yeah. And this year, like this coming year is going to be fire for indie yeah. titles. It's and and I just want to big... say this last year was a huge year for indie games. Huge. Like if you well, think about dude, it. PlayStation 5's uh, three of their titles were uh, or two like because Kina uh, Returnal was from yeah Kina and Returnal were both indie developers yeah, yeah. and oh uh, Godfall Counterplay uh, Godfall was also an indie they developer did, and they games. did end up uh, purchasing Housemark as they well did. So, they did yep yeah. Housemark yeah. is officially uh, first party as well so. uh, Esco says guys I got a call and I'm feeling a bit sleepy and it's almost midnight I need to finish some stuff before bed we love you Esco thanks for hanging out with us Thanks. good night Esco good night. You 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 dream of good fucks tonight. You know what I'm saying? Dream yeah. of good fucks. I, I I appreciate your apology. <laughs> <laughs> Xander Smaller no, no variant. Yeah, that is that is what she is. Thank you guys for laughs and giggles as always. We love you, Esco. Be good. Be good. We'll see you next time. Okay, um, guys, my fifth round pick. I'm going to have to go ahead and grab one very special game here uh, called Red Fall. Ah yes, good, Ooh, good, good choice. That was good on choice. The radar. Uh, good I, choice. I was looking at it. I was looking at it. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. I, I, I think I, I too feel like that will be a seven ass game. I I think I, there's something about it that's speaking to me. There's something about it that's yeah. Like, I saying to me that feeling... people are going to eat it up because the reception of it during uh, E3 when we saw it. Oh God, excuse me. When we saw it at E3, the okay. reception of that trailer was just wild wild the yeah. amount of people i saw talking about it on twitter when it came out everyone was like oh shit let's go like this can be great um i got a good feeling i got a good feeling yeah about this. i i just have i don't know i have this feeling and and i could be totally wrong and i would like to be wrong but i just have this feeling like there's going to be this over looming shadow of like left for dead and back for blood for some reason because i feel like it's going to have a similar gameplay to that but I mean, I like I said, I want to be proven wrong about this because it does look good. But yeah. I have I have this like this this like general like like social feeling about it, like it might end up in that because we've seen that happen with a lot of like other games, you know. I don't think it's going to be the game we yeah. think it is. They haven't shown any form of gameplay. They just show that it was mm -hmm. for people fighting a bunch of like vampires. And yeah. I don't know. I think I think I think it might not be what we think it's going to be. And that's going to give it some leverage. Um, anyways. I, I, and I hope so. Yeah, yeah. Same. 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 Six round, gentlemen. Fat Poseidon Games is going to go ahead and just snag this one up for one of you motherfuckers. Get it. Fat Poseidon Games is going to go ahead and grab Cult of the Lamb. Okay. Now, I don't know if you guys remember seeing the trailer for this game. I'm no, taking, I, I, I don't remember it at all. 
actually. So this this was a game at E3 that they showed during the uh, I believe I believe it was the wholesome showcase. Uh, but it's a little lamb. You're playing as a little lamb that is going around and slaughtering every other cult, and you're trying to be the lamb that becomes a cult leader. And uh, this game is is extremely death to door as well. And I just got it. I just got a feeling, man, it's going to hit. It's going to fucking hit. I'm so here for it. It's going to be one of those games. Uh, Griff, is this like fantasy football for critics? What is this? That is exactly what this is. Griff. That's exactly this is what this fan- is. This is fantasy football for video games uh, based on instead of player scores. Uh, it is uh, 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 Metacritic <laughs> scores. Uh, Josh. Cool. Goat. Josh hit the nail on the head. <laughs> yeah, I did. Goat Simulator Doom Guy Edition. That's perfect. That's perfect. All right. Uh, take the Kanoe Studios. It is your turn for the sixth round pick. What are you going to grab? Oh, sixth round pick. I am going to go with take the Canulios. Take the Canuli Studios is going to pick Suicide Squad, Kill ah, Justice League. Yes, that's a good yes, choice. That that's a good choice. choice. That is that's a, a good very, choice. very good choice. Yes, yes, yeah. yes. You don't even have to explain to me why that's a good choice. That's a good choice. It was mm-hmm. on my list. Mm-hmm. It was on my list. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Yes, mm-hmm. it is. All right. So Honestly, why? Like it's just it's going to be a, a pop and choice. Just I, I think the hype from uh, James Gunn's The Suicide Squad is going to it's going to ride over enough sure. from this that we're going to see it's we're, it's, we're going to see a good review. And I don't know if you guys saw the gameplay reviews, like oh, the gameplay yeah. trailers of this. And uh, it's looking, it's looking like it's going to be a great co-op like experience. Yeah, very yeah. much. So big agree. Yep. Big agree. Yep. Uh, five star softworks. It is now your turn for your sixth round pick. What? So will you pick for my sixth round pick? I am going to pick Gotham Knights. Oh, mm. that one was on my list too. That was yeah. actually yeah. my next one. I'm gonna throw a fucking toaster in my bathtub. I hate this. <laughs> I hate this so much. Yeah. All right, yeah. Devin, why are you picking Gotham Knights? Because for the same reasons as Suicide Squad, but uh, Batman's just better. <laughs> <laughs> Damn, Hon- honestly, though, you know what? You know what? Though that's that's actually a very good point because it does have all the same reasons that Suicide Squad Kill the Justice League could be successful or all the same reasons Gotham Knights could potentially be successful too because that is also yep. multiplayer and and yep. we're we're going to get a yep. big expansive open world in Gotham there is a good chance that Gotham Knights might be like the best Batman game to date like, I'm really, really excited about it I'm hoping it. so man I just want to be Nightwing and fuck shit up <laughs> Dude, that, that's, that's so it. Ryan for you. I'm gonna, like, be, like, a, okay, I'm gonna okay. be a hardcore Red Hood main. Okay, perfect. So you'll be Red Hood. I'll be Nightwing. Who are you gonna be, or no? Uh, King Shark. I picked King Boomerang. Like I'm gonna be Boomerang. You know what I mean? Oh, I was I'm saying gonna... in Gotham Knights. I'm gonna be King I... Shark. Uh... Oh. <laughs> all, right. all right, all right, all right, all right. Xander, all right. we right. we love you. You have a good night, baby. We you have a good yeah, night. We'll love talk, you. We'll talk good to night, you soon. Man. Okay, so for my next pick. Okay, all right, round seven, ladies and gentlemen, let's go. Round seven, what are you picking, Five Star Softworks? I am picking Tiny Tina's Wonderland. Fuck! Is my my next two <laughs> on my list. Dude, that, that one was... I was considering that one too. God damn. God damn. God damn. Yeah. Shit. God damn. Because because that's that's gonna be an easy eight or nine out of ten right there. Yeah. Yeah. Dude, yeah. Borderland games like Borderland games unless it like the pre the prequel was the pre sequel was pretty was pretty poopy. But everything like all the other titles have been so well received. Surreal says this poor Spotify audio. Don't worry, Surreal. We we have uh we have natural limiters on our, on our audio so uh it's never going to get over negative six db so it's a side it's a we can, we can, we can fuck audio. we can fuck as much as we want it's not gonna hurt any spotify audio, audio. yeah because we, we our podcasts on spotify because on spotify oh, that's true ah, that's true yeah, yeah, yeah. Ah, yeah. when they watch the episode again every few minutes fuck yeah it's true it's true <laughs> take the cannoli studios it is your turn what is your going to be your round seven pick Uh, Take the Cannoli Studios is going to be doing. Oh, man. Yeah, right. 
right? <laughs> it's, it's getting we're, to that point. We're getting uh, down. We're uh, getting down to some of those games where I'm just like, yeah, I gotta make calls. Three, man. three more picks. Three more picks, guys. Um, after this round, at least. A plague tale requiem. <laughs> My next Look goddamn game. Face. My next Look goddamn game. Face. God fucking <laughs> damn it, dude. God fucking damn it, dog. <laughs> Garrick, why are you picking a Plague's Tale Innocence? A Requiem. Sorry. <laughs> because I because I played the first one and it had an incredibly powerful narrative and a uh, very, very tight stealth gameplay mm. and uh mm. outside of assassin's creed games people still people are looking for those those stealth games they're always popular we do like we do like it tight here at good crack and we do like it when it's tight oh. surreal <laughs> i don't just work here i own this bitch he just, <laughs> he just, he just clocked in bond rips and all i mean <laughs> No clocking like in because sometimes. he is one of the owners of of one uh good good cracking yeah. uh LLC. It is true. Um, we it share fifty percent responsibility. Kate, Bi- Kate Bishop, you're so Kate funny. Bishop, you're, you're so, so funny. funny. I love um, hot sauce. <laughs> <laughs> Anyways, guys, round seven. Fat Poseidon Games is just gonna go ahead and do it. We're just gonna go ahead and do it. Fat Poseidon Games is picking up one Hogwarts Legacy. I was waiting for that. Mm-hmm. You want to know why I didn't Dude. pick it? turfs fuck turfs you're right, you're right. Dude, but, honestly i'm just hesitant to pick it because i'm afraid people are gonna review bomb it on here's 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 the thing i this is definitely like i'm taking a swing here and just and hoping that i yeah. fucking hit something because like there's a really good chance that this game is going to fucking tank it is there's a really good chance this game's gonna fucking bomb like no other but goddamn, if it does not, it's like it I've got a feeling it's going to be a ninety. It's going to swing dude. hard if yeah. it does. Yeah, yeah. I, I, I'm excited to see what it does. I don't know if I'm going to get it right away because, like, look, have you listened to all the games we've spouted out already this year? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. <laughs> you know what it's I mean? True. It's true. Uh, Josh and Shaq could crack, and I am the captain now. <laughs> honestly got like me. ernell got and me. i have done done that to each other a few times in important situations it's true. so it's, true. it's, it's true. very true it's true griff uh, hogwarts has potential i am concerned they are promising a lot and haven't really shown much it's true that is that is yeah. very very true i the, i think i think because they haven't shown much that gives it more promise to me i i agree on the promise of content but another thing that I've thought about, because this has no definitive release date in my list, I separated them by definitive release dates and yeah, to, to be determined. I think this game is going to be getting delayed into the, into the next year. And if it does, I'll so, drop it for sure. I'll drop yeah. and pick up something else. Um, yeah, I don't know. I think I think it's been delayed enough times that they know that people are waiting for it. I think 2022 is going to be a good fit for it. Uh, let's see. We are now on round eight, gentlemen. Two more mm. rounds. Two more rounds here. Um, Fat Poseidon Games for round eight is going to go ahead and pick Oxen Free Two. Good pick. Ooh, good pick. Good there pick. you go. Uh, there you go. You got yourself an indie game. <laughs> well, I mean, Cult of the Lamb is an indie game. Uh, let's see. Um, yeah, Cult of the Lamb is an indie game. <laughs> you guys took all the indie games I wanted. Fucking Stray was going to be my, my fucking one piece of gold, dog. Anyways, was- Oxenfree 2. Oxenfree 1 yeah. had such a good reception to that game. Um, dude, o- Oxenfree 2 is going to blow people out of the water. There's no there's no way it's not. I don't think it's going to be a 90. I do see this getting a good uh, right around the 80 mark. And, and that's good I enough for that. Me. I agree with that. Yeah. Honestly, that feels like, eighty feels like that's. Like, I mean, I mean, the yeah. didn't the first Oxen Free like wasn't that considered game of the year? Yeah, it, it was. It was. It was nominated, yeah. I believe, if I, if I remember yeah. correctly, or at least like indie game of the year. Uh, yeah, one, one I, I know. I know it was definitely in talks because I I've heard the Oxen Free series just get high praise. Very high praise. Yeah. Uh, Griff in the chat. I'm surprised no one has picked the Avatar Frontiers of Pandora game. Uh, so it wasn't an option happened. because it's not it's it's not uh, scheduled for 2022 um, as far yes. as like this, because <laughs> I don't think I don't think that. And I, there is there is a suspiciously uh, small amount of news on that game. Very, yeah. very much so. Very I, much so. I honestly 
and and I'm going to be quite honest with you. I would not be surprised if that gets canceled. Well, I don't think it'll get canceled. But well, well, Griff. So what I was saying, it's not it's not that I that it's not scheduled for 2022. I, I, it is scheduled for 2022. I don't think any of us think it's scheduled for 2022. You know what I mean? Like, like I'm, I'm not confident it will. Release. I'm not confident yeah, it's coming either. out this year. It, yeah, it, yeah, yeah. I I don't I don't see it. I don't see it. Fat yeah. cannoli or. I just combined our studios, Garrick. The merger, <laughs> the acquisition can only happened. Let's me. go. Yeah, Let's go. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Five Five Star Softworks has decided to purchase, uh, take the cannoli and Fat Poseidon <laughs> and turn them into one studio. A five <laughs> cannoli Poseidon. <laughs> no, 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 no. You guys are a subsidy of, of Five Star Softworks. Oh, get fucked. Get okay, fucked. We, we get to operate <laughs> independently. Thanks for being so. Take great. the cannoli oh, studios. No. What is your round eight pick Ooh, round eight pick see this is where like it's we're starting to get into into like choices where i'm not completely confident some of these are gonna get mm. released or not mm-hmm. and i'm mm-hmm. just like oh god damn um son. i think i'm gonna take a swing and for my eighth round pick I am going to be drafting the little devil inside. I knew Damn. you were going to pick that. I knew you were going to pick that. I had that on that. my list. Yeah, I, I didn't even bother because uh, I knew Garrick was going to get that one. I didn't even put dude, it on my fucking I'm list. so hyped for that yeah, game. Yeah, dude. I, I knew you were yeah. going to go for that. Uh, Garrick, why are you picking little devil inside? Um, You know, when it, got, when it originally got showcased at E3, I just really liked the showing. I like that it's this sort of... Um, monster it's like it's sort of this open world like monster hunter witchers kind of game but it's in like almost like a a, a mix of like a, a modern fantasy world where it looks kind of it look kind of looked like 1920s 1940s like london sure. and but with like just weird supernatural creatures i think i think it's just going to be one of those indie darling games where it's just going to be well received based off of uh it's like just aesthetic and just kind of like atmospheric gameplay Okay, sure. Fair enough. Fair enough. Five Star Softworks, it is your turn. What is your eighth round pick? I think it's time for me to pick a very, a very hype, a very hype game for me as of the Game Awards. Mm. And I am going to go with Ark Raiders. God damn. You, you, you're really mm. confident that's coming out next year? It's 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 going to be so I, I'm taking a chance on a couple right now. OK, okay? sure, sure. I'm sure. taking a chance. I think it will because I've done some research into this game now. OK. And this research has also shown me why Battlefield 2042 is so bad. <laughs> <laughs> Fair enough. Because, Fair enough. Because this is a brand new studio from all the devs that actually left dice over the last few years. Yes, it is. And this is a game that they have been working on. This is people who have worked on the previous battlefields and battlefront games. So I have a lot of hope for this. This looks like if you took war of the worlds and put it together with like, um, battlefield and battlefront and a dystopian setting and and, uh, I, and i'm not being, i'm not being being cheeky it kind of has a bit of a division two vibe yeah yeah no it really does it really yeah. does yeah and um i'm actually stage. really stoked about this it it looks like a like a somewhat massive multiplayer game because mm. if i remember correctly it looks like there was like six or eight different yeah, it players looked like six or eight the, people yeah, yeah there yeah. was quite a yeah. few people on the screen so and and for me especially as a fan of like destiny and the division and halo and everything. It's the McChicken. Yeah. Yeah. It's the, it's the McChicken. (laughs) And and this, and this game speaks to me because it is for me. (laughs) Oh, there we go. Thank you, Vandal. Thank you, Vandal. We appreciate you. Let's go. Let's go. And it doesn't have a lot of hype yet. It doesn't. And all of us here at good crack are definitely fucking hype. Yeah. Because this game looks cool. Oh dude. Yeah. No, that game's coming. God damn. Mm -hmm. God damn. And Five star are software. Guys, are you guys ready for my reach? Your reach for 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 the ninth round? Five star yep. softworks. What is your ninth round pick? The Legend of Zelda, The Breath of the Wild 2. The sequel. All right. All right. All right. Yep. All right. Okay. Uh Devin, uh yeah, representative of Five Star Softworks. Mm-hmm. Why are you picking uh Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild sequel? 
Because Nintendo showed a trailer two years ago. Yeah. For this game. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. And they're using the same exact engine as Breath of, Breath of the Wild. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Yes. Yes. That is. Facts. I think that is we are going to get a gameplay trailer at this E3 with a holiday launch. And I think this is also going to be game of the year. <laughs> oh, 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 OK, OK. All right, hey. all right, big boy. All right, big boy. I see you. I see you. Swinging that big PP energy around. Mm, God damn. Uh, let's go. Like, let's go. Like, here, here's the thing. We're all fans of this. Mm-hmm. Oh, no, 100%. Uh, yeah, I'm, I'm here for that. We I'm know, for we that. know just... if they're just going to be reiterating Breath of the Wild and just making it better. Like, it's going to get game of the year again. Yeah. Yeah, they they yeah. they have a really a really good habit of listening to their audience when it comes to the Zelda franchise. Um, mm. I can see it. I could definitely see it. Yeah, uh, big I, competition between uh between between oh, this God oh, of War and, and and some of these other names. Dude. Starfield, Starfield, and, Elden Ring, yeah, like goddamn. Next year is gonna be so. Oh, this, no, no, no. This, so this year, twenty twenty two, is going to be two thousand seven. All over again, dude. Are you good? What the fuck was that? I accidentally hit my G one button. And fucking popped open a new tab. <laughs> <laughs> like, good thing I don't watch you porn on my computer. Like, oh. Good thing I don't watch my hentai on the computer. Dude, you know what dude, I'm saying, y'all? Griff, Griff, one hundred percent though. It's and like, here's this. That game is a fifty fifty to come out this year. Yeah, it is. But when that yeah, game does come out. It, it is going to be hit. game of the year. It's yeah, it's it, and that that's how confident I am on the quality of game it will be because right. they know they can't fuck it up. It's on they record, y'all. That. It's on record, they y'all. Can't, we are doing like this. Nintendo knows they can't screw that up. They, they do. know that. They do. All right, gentlemen, let's keep it pushing here. We got we got one more round, and we got to do our counter picks. Take the Cannoli Studios. What is your ninth round pick? Ah. <sighs> You know, I think I am also going to be I'm taking a swing on this one, too, just because I'm I. I feel like it's not I'm not super confident it's going to release this year, but we're going to try sure. anyways. Um, And uh, ninth comes. round pick is going to be Marvel's Midnight Suns. Oh, uh, that's not that what I my... thought you were going to say. Yeah. OK, OK. I, I, I had that on my list. I was thinking about it, but I I, I feel like. I feel like that game might get bombed because it's not going to be what uh, toxic Marvel fans want. That's fair. Uh, I don't. I, we'll see. Spider Man was pretty much that was just green lights across the board with nothing got dropped. Man, that is like a precious gem among like basically any MCU fan. Yeah, I but love. Marvel's Midnight Suns is going to be a it's uh, an XCOM game. It's a mob. Yeah, an XCOM it's, game. So it's it's yeah, not going to quite be the action adventure that mm-hmm. we would want from a Marvel game, and I do think that that's going to have an effect. Oh wait, I didn't even. Re- I, it's going to be an XCOM style game. Mm-hmm. Yep. Mm-hmm. Now I don't know that I, I didn't get that memo. Now, I did with, not know that. Now, that with makes that me sad. said, though, with that said, though, it can still score high we're not doing this based on audience vote this is strictly metacritic so it's like it could still score very good as far as being i mean an XCOM, XCOM is well game, received exactly exactly yeah. just like just like if it was a moba like it doesn't mm-hmm. necessarily mean that like you know pokemon uh whatever the fuck the name is um is a bad game by any means just because it's True. a moba um it, it does it just doesn't have a bigger audience it still scored well it just didn't have mm-hmm. a huge audience it, you know it so did. Yep. Yeah, fair so, enough. That's yeah. valid, valid, valid. Yeah, yeah. All right, guys. Fat Poseidon Games, round nine. Oh, fuck. <laughs> All right. Uh, Sorry. I, I, I got to um, get again. I'm in between on like my last my last pick. I got to get one last indie title here. Um, I am picking a game called Martha is Dead. Martha. <laughs> now this is a big old sleeper indie title, um, a horror game mm-hmm. that has already been reviewed and has gotten remarkable comments and reception in its review process. Um, at least for it, it its review, um, like package with industry leads. Um, every article I've seen on it has said that it's phenomenal. 
uh, has said that it's going to be a very, very interesting push in a certain direction for the survival horror genre. Um, and I'm here for it. I'm here for it. I think I think this year we have the opportunity for horror games to kind of give us a different a different direction for horror games to be pushing towards. So I'm going to go after this one. Now, gentlemen, we're in the hard ones now. We're in the hard ones now, right? Uh -huh. We're in round 10, ladies and gentlemen. Round 10. And God damn, is this a hard round? <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Because I have a list of one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine games here that I can pick from that are on my list. All with a variety of potential. A variety of potential. And one of these games has massive potential that is a big old shot in the dark. A big old shot in the dark. You know what I mean? Because we don't actually know if this game is going to fucking happen this year, okay? We don't know. What I do know is that I'm going to pick it anyways. I am picking Prince of Persia, the Sands of Time remake. Really? That is a ballsy choice, dude. Yeah, I heard that yeah. game got delayed indefinitely. Yep. So not only, I'm taking not a shot only on that, it. Not only that, when they showed it, it looked worse than the original I don't know, man. I don't know. I still, like, I, I appreciate, I appreciate I, I, the choice, Prince, though. Respect. Prince of Persia holds a, a very close place to my heart. Original especially, yeah. Especially that standalone one they did in the comic book style art. Mm -hmm. Did you play that one? Yes. Oh, yes. Yeah. But I, I really liked how violent the original series got, though, because it, it, it was the original Assassin's Creed also, but like mixed with God of War. Dude, now, I as far, now, as far as was my shit, as far as picking this one, let's mm -hmm. be real, y'all. We've all been waiting for Prince of Persia. We've all been waiting for this. Oh, we've yeah. all been wanting but, this. I think that just the same argument that we've been making earlier, they know that they can't fuck this up. Now, I do recognize that because they know they can't fuck this up is why this is a shot in the dark, because there is a very good chance this is not coming out next year um, at all. Yeah. <laughs> like, also, also. The reason why they haven't done Prince of Persia is because Prince of Persia is it meant to be an open world game and Ubisoft only wants to make open world games. Anyways, take the Cannoli Studios. <laughs> what is going to be your last draft pick? Oh, man. My last draft pick. I'm, I'm torn between, like, a really just random... Pick. Mm -hmm. No, no, I think I think I'll I think I'll uh Okay. I this is another one I'm I'm almost certain it's not gonna get released this year, but I don't care because if it does it's gonna be popping. Uh and my tenth round pick is going to be Nightingale. That's a good pick. Good choice. That's a good, yeah. pick. good choice. Good pick. Good choice. Good choice. Yep. Good choice. All right. Why are you picking Night Nightingale? Mr. Garrick. Uh, I think it's just going to be like a, a a sleeper a sleeper indie title. Um, it looks the action looks really involved. Um, uh, it's it's our I I hear whisperings about it all over. It's got this oddly weird presence on TikTok too. Mm, it does. Which, I have noticed that. Yeah. Which I feel like is actually going to be kind of influ influential about uh, game marketing next year. Zygos. So I'm just because I've been seeing that one. Because I've been seeing Nightingale circulate so much, I'm just, I feel like that's just, um, that's a, a safe little wild card. Yes, sir. Mm -hmm. Let's get it. Let's get it. Five Star Softworks. One, Devin, the five star man, Stanford. Uh, what is your last pick? <sighs> I'm having a really hard time with this mm. right now. Mm. Like, I really am. Because mm. you guys have taken quite a bit of my picks. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. But... Deep breath. Yep. Hmm. This is hard now. Why'd you do this to me, guys? Yep. Um, yep. Oh, man, there's so many choices, but also so many not choices. Oh, yep. Man. Yeah, right, you're just like it's my last. It's my last pick, and I don't know if I want to bet. Like, like, do you want to go safe or do you want to go? Yeah, in? do you, you want to go I'm safe like... or do you want to go big? Yeah. So, I feel like this is a bet for some reason. After this last trailer, 
though okay. the game still looks good. Okay. But it but some of it made me feel like a bet because I was like, that might almost be a little too square enixy. Mm. <laughs> Here we go. Here we go. Hit us with it, Devin. Hit us with it. I'm gonna go with Forspoken. Good pick. Okay, yeah. Good pick. Good pick. Dude, I actually I kind of avoided that one because it looked it I dude, I'm I really want to like I'm gonna get it and I'm gonna play it and I really want to be excited for it, but I have like I have like this inkling that I'm just like something's something feels a little too empty in yeah. the game for me. Yeah. I, and and you know where I see it? The NPC characters. That's where I see it. You wanna know why I didn't pick this game? A bi- a big old fat part of me thinks it's gonna get delayed. Oh, I, I, I can I, I can so see too. it getting delayed, but I don't think it's it, it's scheduled for May. If it got mm-hmm. delayed, I'd still see it coming out this holiday season at least. Sure, sure, that's yeah. fair. That's but fair. I I could see the delay, but it's been delayed before. You yeah. know, so yeah, that's, that's why good. I don't think it'll be a major delay. All right, um, fair enough, ladies and gentlemen. But, ladies, but can I say something? Go ahead before we continue forward. Yes, I want to say after we've all done our ten picks, we are all projected for the same amount of points. All three of us. Yes. We oh, no shit. Are. You don't even look at that. Are. We very much are. Now, I granted, just... I don't I don't know if they've dived very deep on that. It might change when next year starts and it will change as the year progresses. So we will see. We yes. will well, see. Yeah. And that's yeah, that's just. A <laughs> but I'm just saying, as of now, yes. we put in our 10 picks mm-hmm. and they were equal picks. I yes. just want to, uh, mm-hmm. you know, virtual high five to you guys. Hey, let's go. Let's go. Ladies, yeah. ladies dents and gents we are now moving into our counter picks but before we do have a word from our sponsor no, just <laughs> I fucking went, that's where that ad would go um, do you have amazon prime that means you have twitch prime <laughs> we have obviously as you guys can see we have five spots open left those are going to be games that we will be picking up as the year goes on as random drops happen um as games get announced for next year so on and so forth we will be able to uh uh, to do here, you guys will see a budget right here in the top right corner. Hundred dollars. We will be able to bid on games as they come out. Um, we do secret bidding, so none of us can actually see how much each of us are bidding. Uh, but whoever bids the highest gets that game, so on and so forth. Our budget is one hundred dollars for the year. Um, now counter picks. Counter picks. We get two each to start out, and then we have to do a counter pick against someone else's game by the end of next year you automatically lose 15 points if you do not fill your last counter point or counter pick spot counterpoint is a game that you think another person here has picked poorly and so when that game does poorly below 70 on metacritic score um uh, uh you actually gain points for all the points that they lose from that game uh surreal you do get high fives you do get high fives and we are hoes we are hoes so i gotta look at your guys's list here and see which one because we get two each i'm just gonna use one on each of you i'm gonna use one on each of you okay i gotta pick one game for each of you that i don't think is going to do well let's start with Devin. Devin, i think god damn you have a good list <laughs> <laughs> god damn you god damn we have good lists guys we have good lists we do have we have good lists i, I was actually really thinking about that and i was like i was like thinking to myself a little biasly you know because it's my own list but like at the same time i was like fuck that'd be really hard to counter any we, we have we have good lists dude we have good lists now what i will say is that the only one here that i can even at all say that i think would not do as well as the others. Draft counter pick here. I'm going to pick my counter pick as Stalker 2, Heart of Chernobyl. That's fine. I'm very confident in that game. I think that, I th- that- I just I uh, of all the, of the games on your list, I think that mm-hmm. is the one with potential to not quite hit 70. Um but I mean, like the oh, like, God damn, dude. The Did only you see other, that gameplay trailer, though, <laughs> I don't I mean, sure, sure, sure. I don't think that's going to be enough to sell people. You know what I mean? I think I I'm not saying that the game's going to be bad. I don't think it's going to be bad. Look, I can just see it potentially not being as good as we want. There's it to be. no way that game is not a seven. There's no we'll way. See. We'll see. I mean, Metro 
games are highly regarded, and this is the game that Metro fans have wanted. We'll see. We'll see. Uh, no, surreal. No, it's it's theoretical dollars, not actual dollars. No, we we're too broke for that. We're too broke. We're content creators <laughs> for fuck's sake. Yeah, no, no, we're too broke for that. <laughs> uh, take the Cannoli Studios. What is your first counter pick? Ooh, so I'm also probably gonna do one for each of you guys. And fair enough. Fair enough. Yeah, dude, this shit's rough. Like y'all mm. got mm. some good ass. Like everybody's got some good ass picks. I think... Oh, one last detail here. One last detail. I forgot to mention, oh, yes. guys. Whatever we counterpick, you are not able to drop that game next year. Okay. Oh, yeah. Yes, I was aware of that. Has to yep. say. Okay, yep. just making sure. Go ahead. Continue. Sorry. Unless it gets canceled, right? Or like... or It stays on. Re oh, okay. Nope, mm -hmm. it stays on. It stays and then on. You, just, you, just get it. you take a big fat zero <laughs> yep. for the season. Yep. Yep. If it get if it gets delayed or anything like that, it, it has to stay on if it gets counterpicked. If it's not counterpicked, yes, it goes away. You can drop it as freely as you want to drop it. But if it gets counterpicked, you cannot. Uh I think as much as I'm gonna play this game myself, I'm gonna get it. Like I really am. But I, I'm I think my counterpick is uh my first counterpick is gonna be Hogwarts Legacy. Fair enough. Ah, uh, that enough, was fair enough. Line. Now, before before we dig in a little bit deeply, so surreal. Um, as the year goes on next year, if we want to drop any of these games from our respective list, we are allowed to. We can, we have a limit to how many that we can do for if it is not delayed into the next year, but we can drop them. If we are counterpicking them, which is what we're doing right now, that game is not allowed to be dropped at all. So even if it does get delayed or scores poorly we have to commit to the gap to that game that got counterpicked five star softworks what is your first counterpick prince of persia the sands of time that's remake fair. that's fair i will take that yeah all of that pill i i considered that one too man i thought about it i was God like damn. you know and that locks it in for me too like i can't drop yep. that if it, it's like november and i'm like fuck it's, it's really oh, not coming dog rough. it's really not <laughs> coming dog <laughs> no, 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 no. not only that i have this like overwhelming like looming feeling that they're just not gonna do it justice yeah that's fair yeah. that's fair it's Devin, fair. what Valid. is your second counter pick slash last pick general for tonight Ooh, general i'm looking at this i'm looking at this list a little bit more i'm looking at this list mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. looking at this list mm -hmm. analyzing analyzing scanning 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 analyzing analyze so <laughs> my next counter pick yep mm -hmm. analyzing 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 it's going to be <laughs> one Marvel's Midnight Suns. That's fair. That's fair. That's fair. I can All see right. it. All right. All right. I see we'll you. I see you. you. I see you. Yeah. Yeah. Take the Canoli Studios. What is your second counter pick slash last pick for the night? My second pick slash final pick for the evening is going to be Gotham Knights. Come on, there's no way that game's gonna do bad. <laughs> <laughs> Hold on, I need to hear the explanation for this. What do you got, yeah. Derek? What, yeah, what is, this is a here. ballsy pick, my guy. Yeah, yeah. Okay, let's hear it. Let's hear it. So, people are going to be expecting game quality on par with that of the Arkhamverse, and that sure. alone is a heavy burden to bear. The Arkhamverse is very well regarded. Um, this title has nothing to do with the Arkhamverse. It's not related. Nope. Not everyone's going to know that going into it. It is not related to the Arkhamverse. It's not. It's, it's confirmed not to be its own, its own entity. Devin? I will say this, though. It's Batman, and we have like seven different Batman universes, and almost it is. all the time they do great, so I don't think people's going to... 
people are going to care about that. I think people are going to pay more attention to the feel of the game and how it plays and if the story is is good enough. And I feel like a lot of people are actually excited for this game because the premise of it is Court of Owls, which is a very highly regarded storyline. If I could, Garrick, for you, that is exactly what he's saying is because all that hype and because people want that it's potentially not going to be that and people yeah. will be disappointed i, I think can see it I the can thing see it. that i fear for the most with this game is um it's it you can it's very it's very much it's co-op centric that's its point mm-hmm. and if that co-op's not cohesive that can even if it has a great narrative and like snappy and like w- heavy impactful combat like if 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 the co-op doesn't mesh that it'll it'll tank the, uh, that sort of game that's exactly what suicide squad is yeah i mean like it sure is but fair, i've seen yeah. gameplay i've seen more gameplay of suicide squad than i had of than i have of gotham knights they did release play. a lot of gameplay of gotham knights i will say that well sure, i mean they released a gameplay trailer and like you know sure sure Oh, it's co-op centric. That requires friends. Griff, that's exactly why we podcast is so we have it people is. to play God video damn, games God with. Damn. For real, for real. Gentlemen, our last pick of the night. My last pick of the night. Fat Poseidon's last counter pick for tonight. Um All right. I gotta do one for Garrick here. I gotta do one for Garrick here. I think God damn it. God damn it. Look at that list. God damn it. I have I think... one that I would pick right away if you want me to message it to you. No, 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 no. I think of all these games that has the potential to flop, I think Salt and Sacrifice is going to be it. I think Salt and Sacrifice right. is going to be it. Um, I think, right. I think, I think that I don't think that the game's going to be bad. I just think of those games on your list, Garrick, I think that one has the potential to score the least. Um, I think the rest of your games just have so much potential outside of Marvel's Midnight Suns. I can't counterpick that because Devin already did. Um, I think second in line would be Salt and Sacrifice to get lower than a seven. That's fair. Ooh. I feel there. I feel like there's potential for Salt and Sacrifice to get like just kind of swept under the re- the rug on the review department. Mm-hmm. That's fair. That's fair. I, that is I, maybe it's too. It, it could be too small. I just noticed it tells us when ga- the games are coming out and mm-hmm. who picked them. Mm-hmm. I have the most picks of games that are being released this year with definitive release dates. Yeah, with definitive release with definitive, dates. Yeah, Suck yeah, it! You do. You do. That's we'll see. We'll see. Just like you guys at home, we'll see, my friends. Thank you all for coming in here and hanging out with us. We appreciate you guys. We appreciate you guys so much. This has been a long episode. Very long episode. God damn. Our schedule for this week. Uh, tomorrow, Devin is going to be playing Halo Infinite co-streaming with xander i believe are we still doing that yep yep we're co-streaming with it xander uh we're still looking for more people to play with us so if you want to play uh hit us up you know what's up what's up let's Let's play some games y'all p.m pacific time tomorrow 10 p.m eastern time exactly it's gonna be fun it's gonna be fun you guys do that i'm gonna be wrapping uh christmas gifts tomorrow <laughs> while you do that so that's gonna be, I, that's I'm, gonna be I'm a, my goal i'm a bad person i'm gonna be wrapping my christmas gifts on christmas eve <laughs> jesus christ <laughs> on, thursday, guys, on thursday <laughs> we're doing a live recording of shipwreck show episode eight i believe it is um mm-hmm. you will be able to find that on patreon uh you guys can drop a patreon command and try to love you guys oh yeah yeah yeah, yeah yeah you find uh, that at patreon.com forward slash good cracking show mm-hmm, mm-hmm. do that on there uh we may uh fun fact for, for you guys listening and watching at home live we may or may not do a live stream of that on tiktok find our tiktok you might be able to watch it on there with us you know what i'm saying I'm saying yeah. don't hang out with us on TikTok. Yeah. Go okay. to the talk of the ticks and mm-hmm. tick that talk so you can be talky with our ticky talk and that, the talky. Talk that tick. Talk that tick. Yeah. Oh, fuck. Friday and Saturday, we have no content <laughs> for you guys. We're taking it off for Christmas. Go hang out with your families and then hang out with us in our Discord. Uh, wish us Merry Crackmas because we wish all of you guys Merry Crackmas at home. And I will be there in Discord so we can hang out. 
Guys, please let us know which one of our teams has the best picks for next year between Five Star Softworks, Take the Cannoli Studios, and Fat Poseidon Games. Let us know who you think has the best list for 2022. Uh, comment down below. Hit us up on Twitter. Uh, hit us up on Discord. All the good stuff. We want to hear from you guys. Um, uh, in the meantime, y'all. This has been the Good Kraken Podcast, your choice for all the nerdy video game and pop media news, reviews, and discussions that you wanted to hear. Live every Tuesday at 7 p.m. and Saturday at 12 p.m. right here at twitch.tv slash Show. If you enjoy the show, you can head on over to patreon.com slash Show, where you can submit questions and topics to show. You get exclusive post-show content and you have early access to episodes before they go live on podcasts and video services across the digital sea. Give it to me. You can also support us by going to our YouTube channel, by clicking that beautiful bell and big red button, or by subscribing to our podcast channel, by searching Good Kraken with an exclamation mark and leaving a review there. Uh, we're not, we're not going to do a post show tonight because we are real fucking deep. But until next time, my friends, be good to each other. Love y'all. Ah, even if you hate me. <laughs>